never gay. Stop being so sensitive, bitch! <laughs> you ain't no bad bitch for real, I seen you before you got your ass and titties done. Is Trina there? Trina. World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing, we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch. Yeah, you ain't never seen a show like this. Ghetto folks gon' be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you kiss yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 5150-2022 It's on I'm about to say some real things Hit the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah Cinnamon? Yeah. We on? My mic on? It ain't working? It's on? This thing working? Yeah! <laughs> Can we begin? 51 motherfucking 50 lives again, my friends. Out here talking this shit from deep within Patrick Dina, the motherfucking Coin Academy, world famous Coin Academy, goddammit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Home of the Baller Podcast, goddammit. Motherfuckers be in here getting it in, goddammit. I came here last time I, last time I was here. No, that wasn't the last time. Time for laugh. We was at um look get together for motherfucking Laylo. Yes, sir. And this motherfucker, they had a a, a band with some uh, Mexicans jamming. They was Mexicans singing R and B. They sound so good. They must have got here when I left. What? No, I mean, you yeah, I mean, you must, missed uh, it. When you got here, it was too late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they had some Mexicans in here jamming. I'm talking about the lead singers. Both of them was Mexican, wasn't they? Them motherfuckers was killing. What they were paying all, all the all the motherfucking music? they mock mock. What, 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 what no, the none of that shit. Oh, oh, you had R B. What you know? Yeah. What's the name of the group? D W three. Anybody who know about them? Them motherfuckers in here jamming, nigga. I was upstairs. I was like, hell no, these motherfuckers. What were they dressed like? They had some bread on. No, hell no. These were some Mexicans who fuck hoes. Okay, okay. Fuck regular bitches. Uh, <laughs> they life ain't shit. Like the rest of us. All of us who fuck regular bitches and shit. I am Corey Holcomb. 
This is my man. You know Marcus in yeah. this bitch. He was in New York this weekend. How that shit go? Oh, man, that was cool, man. That was cool, man. I went to uh, some of the spot in Harlem. Uh, it was, uh, they had like a premiere, and he was like, you want to go up? I was like, shit, go on, slide me on up there. And then I went to, uh, me and David did some shows. Uh, in Pooh Keeps, we, we did the Pooh Keeps it. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Poughkeepsie, man? Yeah, yeah, Poughkeepsie. I don't know if I'm it's, saying it right. Yeah, it's Poughkeepsie. It's, uh, and Laugh It Up. This spot called Laugh It Up. I'm gonna say my nose put a dent in this mic. Yeah, fuck y'all. And yeah, and then we did a show in Brooklyn. So that was cool, man. It was cool, man. They, they, they was fucking with my country ass, man. They was rocking with me, man. As people come out from, from the show and shit. That's what's yeah, up. Yeah. Come on in here, motherfucker. Yeah. Pull your chair up, goddammit. What's About up, to mate? talk some more shit. Nigga Craig, facts in this bitch. Scoot over to the centerize Bro. everything. All right, we good. Hell that yeah. look better for the camera. Up, Is we what right? Up, what up, what up, what up? We right? Craig. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> Go back right. over there. He got something for Craig and shit. Them niggas. I, all I know is I saw a Victoria's Secret thing in his uh, pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what it is. I'm just saying. Bro, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I got the top he told me we got some passion. Somebody say Wolfman to the 25th power. Yeah, Fuck y'all. Craig, Craig Fax, what's up, baby? I'm the only one on this motherfucking not fat. See, you a lad? Yeah, yeah boy, nigga, They just can't whoop you, but they be you wanting you. Keg Fax? Uh, you call them Keg Fax. This came from the dentist, nigga. Oh, oh yeah. Nigga, Some niggas buy Jordans. Fight? I get my, I work, I get my mouth fixed on. Oh, I'm so sure. Take I care you, of my health and shit. You if you, if you just came from the dentist, your mouth stank. Yeah, it's got blood all in it. Look. Yeah, right. I'm looking at it. I yeah. thought, thought you'd been, been getting some work done. No, I don't fight, man. I got little homies for that, man. They What's that hard. shit happen with the women when they go into the place and they do a little scrape inside them and then let them out? They talking inside the uh, coochie hole? Yeah, was, is it a pap smear or something? Yeah. Yeah, I think that is a pap smear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, so the bitch came from getting the pap down smear, the <laughs> and, and, and I was getting ready to go down on the bitch. I could tell some shit from the back been lifted. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hold on, <laughs> bitch, that ain't regular pussy drippings. I need no, to it was that, boy, that that shit in the back of the pussy ain't no joke, hey. nigga. You don't want to smell that. That's uterus oh, juice. Shit. Oh, baby. Hold on, she, she That's left the pap. Organ sweat. That's she left from getting juice. the pap. Is that what it is? It's uterus juice, organ sweat. Huh? That's what's up. <laughs> Let me tell you something. All them you women, <laughs> if your pussy gets scraped up deep in the back, don't let a nigga near your pussy, because that yeah. smell is there from the shit. See, what happens when your pussy on regular mode, it filters out yeah. the shit that's in the back of your pussy. Yeah. Boy, oh. it was after birth coming out that bitch. <laughs> oh my God. You don't oh, yeah. know unless you up on it and shit. Yeah, Boy, that's heart spit in there. That's, that's, you said heart spit. That's boy. heart spit. You know, your heart work hard and it's juices <laughs> that the heart uh, produced that you can't see heart spit. Man. The heart muffler <laughs> dropping. <laughs> the muffler from her heart. That's heart scarcity. Heart scars. <laughs> Pussy gingivitis. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga. That's, yeah. So, so look, check this out, man. It's time for us to speak on the, 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 the world as it go with females again. Because this shit cannot be denied. The court wants you to give these buster ass bitches child support, alimony, all the shit that happened just because you was fucking a bitch and she wanted you to. Listen, I want to talk about these wretched ass bitches. Look, I saw on the internet a bitch get shot at the dollar store. Oh, man. <laughs> over uh, your mama saying. Man. Did y'all see this? No, she, she got shot. shot. She got shot from getting beat up. What it, it all started when the, when the bitch behind the counter said, your mama this. Oh, yeah. It was no, like it didn't start there. They was arguing, and then the bitch said, your mama this. Then the dumb, the dumb bitch who thought she was Billy Badass went behind the counter, grabbed the hoe, whooped her ass. Am I right so far? Yeah, she tore yeah, her ass up. Huh? Whooped her ass. She tore so her cat regnant. The other bitch, after she got up and walked back behind the counter, shot 
the shit out the bitch. She off to my D shit she out of her. It looked like she was dying. The bitch she, wasn't moving. I don't know what. I don't know what. It, look, I can look up the results. Did you see the fight? I saw it. Yeah. Do she deserve to die? Yes. She, if she you, deserved to die. Y'all think she deserved to die? Hell yeah, you don't put your hands on a motherfucker just because they say some shit to you, nigga. Hey, Craig nigga. Her, mama, out my mouth. her mama might have just died. I don't give a fuck, nigga, Man. when she joined the bitch. You <laughs> don't put your hands <laughs> on nobody that ain't put their hands on you. I agree with Craig. We too hey, old man. for that shit. Dude. That's what I tell a motherfucker. Man. All you niggas who think you Billy Badass. Don't beat me up and think that's just it. No, nigga. You something. not finna beat me up and that's it. That's see, that's the no. problem with you niggas. I always quick to pick up a gun. Shit, you got nigga. to use your hands. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah y'all. Yeah. Fuck yeah. fighting. <laughs> you, you know where I'm from, they call a gun. I got that act right. <laughs> you see how know, motherfuckers act when they get shot? They act right, don't they? <laughs> I'm talking about to the stupid bitch who probably dead. You ain't had no business going behind that counter grabbing nobody over some words in an argument. Dumb bitch. Yeah. I'm talking to the bitch who got shot if she's still alive. I don't even know if the bitch still alive. Yeah. Maybe this shit is all in vain. But for the bitches who saw the bitch get shot, listen, don't fight people over a passionate word exchange. No, it's, it feel better to just say some foul shit to a motherfucker. Then it do, then it does just to shoot a motherfucker. Niggas who shoot people, they 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 got mental illness. Cause we finna go into the bitch to shot. Man, yeah. you got some. I I just I don't know, man. But so you don't think the bitch should have got shot? No, man. Okay. She she ain't even try to fight her back. She, just she didn't want to fight, nigga. No, she was taking them licks. I'm saying that's what I'm saying, man. We are getting too soft out here as as a uh, society, man. Motherfucker don't want to fight. That don't make it soft. Huh? Yeah, it do make nigga, it soft. You you, you got to get a pistol. When you 40 and over, nigga, I ain't got no time to be fighting, nigga. You know, nigga, I wake up in the morning, sometimes I lay in the bed till my back tell me I can get up. Well, don't start no fight. I'm not starting no fight, but if a nigga put his hands on me and I didn't put my hands on him first, it's going to be a real but issue. But you antagonize him. No. When you, you talking about your mama, fuck you and your... You, that's that's, that's uh, inviting the fight. If you say something to somebody that's that's threatening or, or you talking about them, you, you invite... That's, you inviting the fight. Hey, Marcus, you let me tell you something, homie. At one time in this world, there used to be rules that people would adhere to. When it comes to just fisticuffs, mm -hmm. motherfuckers would be like, come on. If a motherfucker be like, I don't want it, I don't want it, then a motherfucker just be like, you a fucking coward. And it meant something when you so when somebody called you a coward at one time, that shit was some serious shit towards your manhood. Yeah, it was. So motherfuckers who didn't want to fight, They'll just be like labeled as a coward. Mm -hmm. In this day and time, it ain't no rules to nothing. It's chaos out here, dog. You cannot put your hands on nobody because you're mad at them. No, you can't. If you put your hands on somebody because you're mad at them, shit happens like we saw on that video. That bitch did not hit her until... Well, she hit her with something else. <laughs> but I'm saying, that bitch who thought she was, oh, I'm finna jump on this bitch. I remember she was hitting the uh, uh, uh -huh. just getting all off. Yeah. That bitch ain't getting off on shit else right now. That bitch getting off the slab from getting drained <laughs> and stuffed with formaldehyde. Yeah, yeah. This is what happens when you hit motherfuckers for nothing. <laughs> now let's talk about the bitch who shot the bitch. This is a crazy bitch, too. Yeah, she out of her mind. You gonna lose the case because of all the shit you said after you shot the bitch. You can't say, oh, I was scared for my life, so I shot the bitch. No, you marched, basically, behind the counter, went and got a gun, shot the bitch, and went on a rant after you shot the bitch. That showed that you what you can't say you scared when you standing over the bitch who dying, motherfucking. You done shot the bitch like nah, bitch. You was turning up, one you bitch. Oh, uh, see, woo, woo. that's what I'm saying. That that pissed me off. That, Crime of passion though. She'll get a shit. She won't do no real time. Get the does. fuck out of here. Nah. Dollar General finna get sued by the funky dead bitch family. What state was it in? California should be a wrap. What you mean, California? In California is over. For yeah, she ain't. Yeah, they ain't trying to hear shit. In Arkansas, she gonna be alright. <laughs> 
<laughs> right? <laughs> no, that she got some truth to it, Chris. Yeah, if yeah, she in Texas, she's going to be all right. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah. If she in Florida. She yeah. gonna be, if she in Michigan, she's going to be all right. But if California, she, they don't want you to have no gun for nothing. California and New York. When you shoot over. a motherfucker out here, you got to justify it. Yeah. yeah. And your bullets can't go astray because if you hit somebody, that's a murder. And in California, you got to have your bullets separate than your gun when you're driving with it. That's the dumbest shit on the planet. Man, well, yeah, they got the craziest say. rules. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's what they say. They got the craziest rules in the world. Fuck I got a gun for and I got to put it together like a toy before yeah. we motherfucking go to war. <laughs> <laughs> like shit don't happen sudden. Yeah, you got to yeah. go. <laughs> like, hold on. You got to stop everything. You got to pop the tags <laughs> on your gun and shit. Fuck. Man, that's crazy. Get your gun out the safe before you shoot a motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. The police already know what it was. She shot her when she was walking away. She going to jail. What you mean she shot her when she was walking away? <laughs> She's saying after she, uh, after she was. Dayton, Ohio is where it happened. Well, that bitch going to jail, Craig. Yeah, how, what you mean with walking away don't mean shit. Where was she walking to? She could have been walking to get a gun. You don't know that. Somebody say, was they black? It was two black bitches. Two <laughs> black bitches. I don't give a fuck who get mad at me because I say what it is. They was barking like dogs before the physical shit happened. Arr, 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 arr. Not no none. It was no act of a lady in that store I saw. If I you, saw two raggedy ass bitches going to war like animals in a store. I'm with you. When you get into it with a broad, if she say dude or call you nigga, what does that do to you? I, I can't stand when you get into it with a broad and, and they talk like they a nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Like 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 they like they they take like a man's disposition if you getting into it with them like nigga I told you dude nigga like what the fuck are you talking about like they get you know they get at you like a nigga do they deserve the same type of pass if they step into a nigga role when you get into it with a female well me personally I bitches when they talking to me I don't I don't catch it I don't, after I'm done fucking you I am planning to shake you right. I have no use for you after I fuck you right. with most women in the world because they will talk just like you saying right. when anything go wrong. They problem solving abilities are at zero. All they know how to do is bark and talk shit. Right, right. So right. that's why it's hard to respect a lot of the bitches in the world. Notice I ain't say all of them, but most of them, I'm bold enough to say that. I ain't finna be arguing with no funky ass bitch all day long. The fuck is wrong with you? I got into a couple of arguments with bitches, especially bitches I don't know. Right, right. If I don't right. know you, I'm, I might leave. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't know, yeah. I don't know that bitch. Let me get the fuck away from I, I like yeah. flinching at bitches. I don't never actually hit them on, you know, when you kind of flinch. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. That's when you yeah. that's when they turn back into a bitch. I know <laughs> niggas be begging me. Boy, let me knock the bitch out. Cause I know niggas that'll knock a bitch yeah, out. Yeah, like, yeah. They knock a nigga out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I almost agreed. Because it takes a special kind of nigga to knock a bitch out. Yeah. Yeah. I hit a bitch, but I won't knock her out. No, that's Or swing to knock her out. I know a couple of niggas that knock bitches out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, they yeah. be begging for the job. Yeah. Only reason I won't let them do it. Wait a minute. Corey Craig Marcus, comedy gorilla lynch mob. Talk that real shit. You All did. day long, Michael Hobson. Thanks for the yard. Yes, sir. But I'm yeah. saying, like, it takes a special kind of nigga to super sock a bitch for real. Yeah, Most yeah. men hold back. You got to really be... Uh, I can't really put full force into punching a bitch uh, unless she done done some shit to my kids. Yeah, the niggas, yeah. Them, niggas, them niggas about ain't got no conscience. Niggas just cock back and just knock them out. Thoughts with Glocks. Say that shit, they letting transgender... No, them niggas about ain't got no conscience. And just cock All you got to do is out. say you transgender and you can whoop a bitch's ass. They letting transgender niggas UFC fight bitches legally. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nigga put on a long get wig. Get the fuck out of here. No, I think, did they stop it, though? No, nigga, nigga whooped the dog shit out of bitch. Uh, he he fought as a man first, turned into a woman, and became a champ. Yeah. He was trash as a nigga. Uh, yeah, nigga. He was like, yeah, I'm still with it. He was like, he was, he was at like 179. Somebody <laughs> said the lady, the lady did not he die. came first and women. Nigga, I'm glad the bitch ain't died. Because guess what? That bitch ain't finna be talking shit to people she don't know no more. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad she alive. I'm glad the bitch didn't die, but the bitch learned a valuable lesson. Quit barking and thinking you can do what the fuck you want to do out here. Bitch, you will get done. Done. 
So, yeah. <clears throat> so if y'all sitting there arguing back and forth, right? Y'all arguing, y'all just saying all kind of disrespectful shit. We finna it, talk about that next. Um, Royal Yon Humphrey, thanks for the ten dollars. Somebody y'all sitting there arguing, y'all going back and forth, y'all just saying the most disrespectful shit Who? to each other. I'm just saying, you, if two people, two different people, say, say them I two. don't argue with bitches like that. Okay, well, if them, um, we just say them two, two bitches. They arguing back and forth to each other, you know what I mean? They saying the most disrespectful shit they can say. Fuck your kids, talk about you, whatever. So you saying they supposed to just, I right, fuck this shit and just walk away. It's just, it's just it Hell yeah. Here. What you look like arguing with a motherfucker you don't know? It don't make no sense, nigga. I don't even have a memory that I could be angry at of you. I just met you. So what the fuck would we be saying? What, what, why are we getting loud? What, what's, you know what I mean? Nah, I agree with I'm, Craig. Like, I think like that. When people try me, especially when you're getting off the airplane, when you're getting off the airplane, the people behind you will try to walk in front of you as you're trying to get your bag. That's the only time I check, motherfucker. Yeah. I'll be like, hey, hey, hey. Okay. I'm finna get I, off the plane, too. I want to go, too. Let me get my bag. Right. Fuck you getting in front of stepping over me, fuck. And it always be people looking like, oh, shit, yeah. the nigga mad. But it be mainly people that are not black who do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. They act like you ain't even there. Yeah. Okay, well, let me ask you this. So if that happened, you, you, and you turn up right here, and he's like, fuck you. I ain't doing shit. You know what I mean? Where, where do we go from there? You just barking. That's what I always uh-huh. say. You just barking. I'm down. finna go get my bag out the baggage claim, and I'm probably finna get in a car that's finna take me away. So we not finna fight. No, Only yeah. way we gonna fight is if you hit me. Yeah, yeah. If you hit me, we'll fight. But all that woof, 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 I could stand right next to you after you got through saying, fuck you, nigga, I hate you. I'll be like, mm. yeah. you ain't finna do shit. Hell no. Nah. You ain't finna do shit. And if you do do something to hit me, because I'm not finna hit you. If you hit me, everything go. What about pushing? Pushing? Hey, you touch me, nigga. You know what? If a motherfucker push me, I don't think it'll be like the same as if he hit me. Mm -hmm. But if a motherfucker push me, he will be forewarned. Don't do that again, because then everything go. Okay. Don't put your hands on me, man. You give him a chance. I'm talking about all you niggas out here who think you tough. But this is my thing. Though. Nigga, I'm too old to get my ass whooped and let it fly. I'd rather be in jail explaining why I did what I did. But this is my thing, though, Cole. Um, I come from a land where a, a nigga can be arguing with you and a nigga will, will sock your ass quick and, and, and will catch your ass off the spot now. Yeah, what but you what, mean a motherfucker gonna walk up on you while he arguing with you? I don't yeah, do that. That's what I'm saying. If a motherfucker, motherfucker come up, motherfucker start arguing with you, and, and they'll start walking up on you. Well, that's now, the same thing happened to that girl in the store. I tell saying. a motherfucker who getting close to me, this ain't what you want, homie. Yeah. Don't get up on me. You talking right. about Little Rock? Huh? You talking about Little yeah. Rock? It, it could be anywhere. Yeah, it be know. motherfuckers out here in L.A. that are, that yeah. they be so confident that they got the upper hand. Yeah, yeah. What well, because. It's a lot of motherfuckers what don't I'm know saying. what it feel like. Once you get in my space. That's I'm from Chicago. With. When you see a motherfucker laying on the ground shot in the cold, that is a motherfucking feeling that you never forget. Because mm-hmm. you know he dying and he freezing. Yeah, yeah that's some cold <laughs> shit. <laughs> I know that motherfucker wish he could get up and die in, the, in a store or something. Don't put your hands on motherfucker. <laughs> hey, Corey, I was told gender fluid is picking your biological... Sex, I thought gender fluid is something I leave after sex. That was funny, man. That was a good one. Yeah. I just read it fucked up. That's a good joke, huh? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, that's gender fluid right there on, <laughs> on that bitch child rag. And, and generally, uh, social... You always put gender fluid on a bitch child rag. Gen- gen- generally, uh, socioeconomic situations uh, increase the likelihoods of who gonna be fighting. You know what I'm saying? Say that again so they can understand that, Craig, because that's yeah. deep. So he said, Arkansas, uh, pretty much anywhere where niggas is doing bad, it's going to be a fight a day <laughs> on every motherfucking block. Either niggas been drinking, smoking, or their egos be hella involved. They feel disrespected. You know, they be on all that goofy shit. So a lot of times, yeah, I get it. But, you know what I'm saying, once you leave them type of environments, nigga, if you fighting and Sherman Oaks, nigga. <laughs> if you yeah. shopping at the mall every valid. week. That's valid. You got a nice car. You don't really have time for that other shit because you want to get back in your car and go fuck a bitch. A nigga that ain't on shit is quick to be like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. Mm. 
Right. That's what he's saying. A nigga that ain't got shit, a nigga ain't on shit, the motherfuckers want to fight. Yeah. Niggas who doing doing things, no. I'd rather be fucking off this shit I got doing what I do productively at, you know, I got I got a motherfucking 2022 car outside. Mm -hmm. A nigga with a 2022 car don't normally want to fight. It's a nigga who rode with a nigga who want to fight. <laughs> yeah. That's valid. So, that's some you know real saying, man. Feel, man. That's valid. Hey, you know what I've been doing, man? I've been confronting motherfuckers who 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 been on bullshit with me, man. I used to let a lot of shit slide, man. This year, I've been calling motherfuckers and letting them know about certain shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, what you mean calling them, Craig? Just certain motherfuckers, man. You know, it's a world full of narcissists, man. Sometimes niggas say shit and you let it slide and you let it slide, but sometimes you got to make motherfuckers aware that hey, I know you, I know you said some bullshit. I'm just letting you know I know, and I ain't tripping. You know what I'm saying? But move different a little. You know. Next I time. forgot mm -hmm. that I'm older than you. Yeah. Until you just said that. Yeah, I've been going. You know, it's Craig, you ain't got time to be calling no motherfucking nigga right. saying his shit to him about what he said. Yeah. Now, if you see them in public. And you feel like Billy Badass, you yeah. want to be known for checking niggas. Yeah. That's how you supposed to do it. Yeah. Hey, homie, let me holler at you. Yeah, yeah. That's how you do that. But don't call these bust-ass niggas, homie. Yeah. Get your money, nigga. Yeah, straight out. You ain't got time to be calling. None of these garbage-ass motherfucking niggas. Then on top of that, let me tell you how, how bad it get, Craig. This is how bad it's going to get. Yeah. Motherfuckers, you going to get into it with motherfuckers on the phone because you ain't got time right. to be guessing or listening to their bullshit. Right, a right. a guy who I like, I would call him a, a good dude. He got mad at me because he was calling me about a show. He say, yo, you open so-and-so, so-and-so weekend. I was like, um... I don't know what you're saying, but just call my guy, Maurice, yeah. and he'll work it out with you. That made the nigga feel like I was dissing him. <laughs> and so I explained to him, I say, my brother, look, I deal in absolutes when it comes to my business. If you got a show, you could give me the details to the show or give my guy, which I prefer you do, yeah. give him the details to the show, and we'll take it from there. Yeah. But he was like, no, you acting like you Hollywood. Oh, now. my God. It ain't no way around it. Yeah, it oh, ain't no yeah. way around it, Craig. So yeah. you're going to get drama from nothing. So yeah. that other drama that you're trying to check, you try to check the shit because you a man. Yeah. And you be one of the motherfuckers putting niggas in line. But there's too many niggas to put in line. And it is. It, it just be weird where the space where shit come from, niggas be guessing. You know what I'm saying? A nigga mm. will put... Like you said, you're dealing absolutes with your business. A nigga will put some shit in the air that he don't even know if 10% of it is true. He'll That's what these bitch-ass <laughs> niggas do on the internet. They, these bitch, some bitch-ass nigga who need his head stomped in. I guess I'm joking because it's YouTube. But I'm saying, yeah, yeah. some motherfucker put the little homie Stevie J out there. Remember when I was joking, yeah, I, yeah, I was talking about yeah, Ryan? Yeah, and yeah. I said, oh, Ryan got ran out of town. Some Motherfucker said, oh, Stevie J must have did that. And uh, the shit ran. Yeah. Like, it took off. Stevie J Man, them motherfuckers good. like that. Stevie J ain't never did no shit like that. No. Not that I know of. Stevie J actually is a funny comedian. And this is my opinion. I'm not saying this mm. on no fuck shit. He a funny comedian, and he got a wild side to him. But I don't never see him on no Debo shit with no, niggas. No, no, right. No. Stevie J, Stevie J, he, he, he ain't no joke, but... I don't never see him on no Debo shit with niggas. No, he a solid human. So whoever put that shit out there, you a fucking you a fucking whole ass nigga for that. You a whole ass nigga for that. So and it wasn't him. It was another motherfucker who would love for me to say his name. Oh yeah, this he dude. won't give a fuck. No, this nigga is one of the greatest <laughs> niggas ever. I love right. that nigga. I ain't gonna say his name. He ain't he ain't for the weak. That's no. what I say about him. If you're weak, you're not gonna get along with this nigga. No. But if you a man. You'll be all right. Do yeah. you disagree, Barkin? If you a man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fine. If you a man, you straight with my nigga right here. But if you a weakling, he gonna pull your whole card. Because I done seen him pull so many niggas' whole cards. Several. He got a whole deck of whole cards <laughs> he done pulled. He, the nigga played poker with the whole cards he done pulled. Nigga got a foul cabinet of whole cards. <laughs> That's real spill, The nigga man. who did that. 
So I'm saying, stop talking shit about niggas you don't know, man. But this go back to what I was saying, Craig. There's so many bitch niggas out here, and they don't, yeah. they don't really get checked like they used to. Yeah. Yeah, man, it's weird, too, because when, 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 when a nigga who got something to say, when you give him the opportunity to say what's really on his mind, they never say it. They always act like, oh, oh no, it ain't nothing, man. I, like, nigga, you hoe-ass nigga. I know what the fuck you said, you bitch-ass nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that, what's the, what makes what you saying right? It ain't even worth it. You just keep it pushing. But what I be tripping on is, you know, all you niggas out there that could just be putting in the work, you know, like we putting in the work like Marcus and Corey, like we learn from Corey consistency. Mm -hmm. No matter what, nigga, you gotta go back to your craft and work. I learned from y'all too. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that's what I you know, mm -hmm. you know, Corey set the example for us, but niggas won't put that work in. They'll sit down and he could Corey could have easily been one of them niggas that talked about how social media niggas ain't funny and didn't get on the social you know what I mean? But he didn't the nigga he 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 grinded, and some of you niggas don't grind enough. You running your mouth, and you doing whole shit. So more than you grinding, man. Why, why you look like that, Marcus? When I say I learned from y'all, uh, well, look. if it wasn't for you, boy, I might have tried to wash some shit like this. <laughs> <laughs> boy, let me tell you something, boy. If it wasn't for you, I'll be out here looking like a goddamn fool, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I knew you, you, un you unblackballed yourself. <laughs> Love, With your like grind. Uh, uh, With your you grind, you unblackballed yourself. Hey, man, look, I don't brag on this shit, but I'm here to tell you, man, Hollywood ain't really got Corey Holcomb in their radar. But it's a goat path, like on that movie 300, yeah. to go the back way. And this goat path is still full of bugs and lions and all that shit. But I walk through that go path, man, and I'm not rich. I want to be rich, but I'm able to not be out here crawling because the people have access to a motherfucker that they like to hear talk that shit because of this motherfucking internet shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The internet, you motherfucker, you could be in motherfucking Arkansas <laughs> and become somebody. That's real shit, though. If you really that motherfucker, the yeah. motherfucker, what's his name? Kevin Samuels. No matter what I ever said, jokingly talking shit about the brother, because I used to think he used to have a, the feminine trait, yeah. but Kevin Samuels' impact on the internet was so great, bitches talking shit about bitches now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> do you see all these bitches? Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You fucking hoes. What you need to do? <laughs> woo, woo, woo. Yeah, bitches talking shit yeah. about bitches now. They, they, That's the impact they took that some hustle. of us have when we on this motherfucking internet. They took I'm that so hustle. glad bitches talking shit about bitches. Hell yeah. Because people know right from wrong. It's just some of these bitches are literally cuckoo clocks. Hey, you know what? I think seven out of ten bitches are narcissists. Yeah, you know what you know what you know what a narcissist. Most people are narcissists, but no, most people have narcissistic traits. But when mm -hmm. a motherfucker's a narcissist, their goal is to drive you crazy or kill you. Mm. That's their goal, and a lot of women have been trying to destroy good niggas like for a long time, man. Oh yeah. You know what I'm oh, saying? Yeah. James I, Claiborne, thanks for the five dollars. <laughs> uh, Gregory. They been um, Strillblet or whatever your name is. They've been is. trying to mold us. We're looking out for the twenty on cash, yeah. They've been trying to mold us into what they want us to be. Well, you don't know. Yeah. I almost busted up when y'all said this shit. Cause see, when I first started talking about hoes like this, Man. I seemed like I was the bad guy. Right. More and more people, and I'm not just talking about men, like Craig just said. He said bitches are really trying to destroy niggas. You goddamn right, they trying to destroy yeah. niggas. The weak always hate the strong. Mm -hmm. Bitches don't like you because you recover after you stop fucking with them or they stop fucking with you. Mm -hmm. They don't want you to recover. They don't want to mm -hmm. see you happy with somebody that like you and got your back. Man. Of course it's men out here like that. But I'm saying, I'm talking about women, real talk. If you give me 10 women, eight of them ain't shit. I agree. <laughs> Eight of them ain't shit. If they brought up in America, hell no. You can't tell me shit about no funk head bitch who <laughs> motherfucking got a whole history of destruction behind her. A whole history, a whole history of destruction behind her. What you got to hold up? Who fuck with you who used to fuck with you? 
Except yeah. to fuck you again. Don't nobody want nothing from you but your pussy. That's Cause, real. Because yeah. you're not worth shit but your pussy. That's the only asset that you carry around. <laughs> is your pussy. Your mouth, too. <laughs> asshole in this country, yeah. <laughs> pussy, mouth, and asshole, goddammit. The mouth is good and bad. Right. <laughs> it talks shit, but it swallows the pit, goddammit. Most shit you talk, the hotter it be when I put my dick in that <laughs> Bring your hot mouth shit talking ass over here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the yeah. bitches who tore up the stove. Marcus oh. showed me this at the beginning oh of the shit. Oh my God. Yeah. What yeah. happened, Marcus? There was base head. Well, one was what, base head, right? It, it was a. Uh, it was more than one. It was a store in uh, New York. It was oh, it was another. another you yeah, talking about a whole other one? No, it was a store in New York. What them funk ass hoes It was. Do? Uh, they was. Trying to charge them a dollar twenty five for some sauce. It was like oh, some, they had some fries and some shit. And I don't know how the argument started and then, but they just showed it. The, the beginning of the video started when she was at the uh, front of the register, and they just got to tan them. I'm talking about about three, four up. They were tearing the, the plastic off the off the cover. You know what I mean? They was, they went behind the counter, jumped behind the counter. They were slanging shit everywhere. They grabbed the sauce. And just slung the sauce all over there. They locked they stupid ass up too. Hey, look, I was in, I was in, I was in Cleveland, downtown Cleveland. Mm -hmm. I went to Chipotle. Mm -hmm. I got the salad. I always get three of those vinaigrettes. Yeah. They told me the vinaigrettes are a dollar a piece. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's like ten dollars in Cleveland. I left. <laughs> I left the salad. You love the salad? After they made the salad, <laughs> I said, how much, you y'all charge for them here? I'm gone. <laughs> Someone said, one, two, the five, I don't do the same thing. <laughs> I, I mean, like, I ain't finna be arguing with you. I went to this place in Cleveland that I'm finna promote, my homeboy. This name, it, the name of the place is called Dion's. Mm -hmm. I wish I would've told you about it, even though you don't eat a lot of meat, but he, got, he make lobster, he make everything. Okay. I go to, I, Dion's is my restaurant when I go to Cleveland. Oh, well, no, that's some hood shit. You got damn right that's some hood shit. Because Dion's, in my opinion, be open late enough where you could get some good food after the shows. Yeah. Oh, it be open that late? What? Oh, yeah. See, that's what I be looking for. I be looking for some shit to be open after the show. I ain't finna be tearing the place up because they said a dollar twenty-five. I just let them make the shit and then I walk out on the shit. You better <laughs> off. So you petty, I'm petty. That's what I do. Right. She was better off just taking the shit. What they gonna do with the salad? Especially the way I make it. Anybody gonna buy that shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, oh, you made it yourself, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I don't make it myself, but no, I'm saying. saying. They, they make it behind the camera. Right. Yeah. And then they said $1.25 per sauce. What? <laughs> Man, if you don't get your goof ass out of your little <laughs> ugly ass little boy. <laughs> sauces, that's a whole nother salad, bitch. Right. right. <laughs> right. Fuck wrong with you. <laughs> they think they could talk to you and text you like they want to, man. Just leave. Right. All you dumbass heifers who was in that store, you, you, you fucking brought up by ain't shit mama ass heifers. You supposed to just leave, not tear up the store, yeah, and go to jail. That's crazy. That's that's crazy. Funk ass hoe. Over dollar twenty five, dog. Yeah. It ain't just the funky street bitches who ain't got no sense. It ain't, it ain't just the funky street bitches. Let me get you out of the game right here. Shit, I dated a, uh, I dated a bitch work for Google. Told me, she, she, bitch was a liar. She told me she was going to kill herself. And here we are, six months later, this bitch still alive. That ain't <laughs> fair. That ain't fair. I, I don't got like insurance that. on you and everything, bitch. You still no. alive? Nah, but yeah. You'd have did the same thing them girls <laughs> did, Corey. You'd have been in uh, Chipotle tossing salad. That's Say that again. <laughs> licking booties in Chipotle. I said, if, you, if you did the same thing them girls did, you'd have been in Chipotle tossing salad. Womp womp. Hey. Oh, man. <laughs> so look. <laughs> It ain't just the ghetto Fuck. bitches who bring frivolousness to the world. Charlie Sheen was pissed off his daughter opened OnlyFans account on her 18th birthday. He said it wouldn't have happened under his roof. But listen, 
A week later, the 51-year-old mom, Denise Richards, mm -hmm. famous bitch, followed her daughter and joined OnlyFans. <laughs> So you telling me the world ain't fucked up? <laughs> Charlie Sheen got AIDS. He fucked up too. We we can talk about all three of them. Let's go <laughs> in on all three. He ain't got no bitch be talking about shit. Actually, Char <laughs> Charlie ain't fucked up. He's fucked in. <laughs> he's fucked in, and he used to fuck with little boys. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he was in. a pedophile. <laughs> he the last motherfucker to be talking about something. It ain't no. It ain't no surviving Charlie Sheen. It's only surviving R. Kelly. But if you know something about Charlie Sheen, you know what the fucking shit he used to do. Hey. So now, how the game come back around, his daughter puts it in the game at 18. Pussy is viewable. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what 18 years it developed into. That's funny, the motherfucker. <laughs> pussy just for the street. That's what she should have said. Daddy, you, you think pussy. they was poor? You you, they weren't poverty stricken. Pussy for the street. Charlie Sheen daughter. Pussy out there like a Christmas ornament in December to be seen. All she had to say was, Daddy, you done embarrassed us enough. You got damn right. <laughs> Ain't nothing I can do to embarrass us even more. Then the funky ass mama followed her daughter. On OnlyFans. <laughs> I wonder what her mama doing. Look up that pussy on OnlyFans, y'all. Let me please send me a shot of the, of the look, pussy. It's eighteen. It's legal. To, it's legal to look at, Chad, right? Chad got to wait to finesse. He he, he got to wait to. Gooch, uh, send me a picture of the bitch pussy. I want to see uh, Charlie Sheen daughter pussy. This is a new world. Uh, we can look at a bitch pussy off the internet like that now. You used to have to search for three ninety nine. Will somebody please send uh, me a picture? A Charlie Sheen daughter pussy. I want to see it. <laughs> Chad got Chad got a way to uh. To hack if it. the mama pussy on there, I want to see it. You know, it got a black. It's been beat up so much. You know, it's got a black eye on it. Pussy with a black eye. Chad, pussy Chad with black to... eye. Pussy, <laughs> pussy with black eye normally got long lips. <laughs> Chad know how to hack into any OnlyFans. When you For fuck free. a lot, do your pussy lips grow? We ain't got no girl here to ask that to. When you, what? If you fuck a lot, do your pussy lips um, they, swell? Yeah, they give, look like a sleeve. They don't that, grow up. up. They don't grow. They give up, and, <laughs> and they get sad. They what get, you mean they give up? Like they just start sagging. Like you know how titties, they start doing this. Titties don't grow, but they just give up. You they can get sad. You can give pussy a black eye. Like your arm. You see my arm? And if I if I stop using muscle, bam. So it look like it's longer, but it's acting Man, just you can giving give, up. You can give pussy a black eye. You can beat it up. Yeah. Where it, it'll, it'll swell up real bad. How you beat up pussy, Marcus? Who? I'm asking, how do you beat up a pussy? Well, you fuck it hard. You fuck it hard. You don't know where that bitch been before you? She is. I'm saying, if, 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 you don't know where that bitch way been before you. Tell you. Tell like, it's way Everything you the bitch so say why you fucking her, Marcus, is because she's trying to capture you. That's that real pussy, shit. that pussy, you can't, you can't impress no pussy when you take that outfit ain't, off. Ain't, ain't, I ain't even about, that ain't even about impressing when you when you wear it out like that. You just beat that motherfucker up. So you wear the pussy out, huh? I, if, yeah, if I'm, see, I do it sometimes if I ain't, you know, I don't, I don't give a fuck about that These bitch. I'll just be in that motherfucker and bang shit nigga. out that bitch. <laughs> be in that motherfucker. Bop, bop, bop. Just bang that bitch out. Right. Fuck her. What they tell you? You the best I ever No, I don't give a fuck what she tell me. I ain't, I ain't trying to be the best. I'm just want to beat that thing down. I'm trying to get I'm mine. Fuck more. you. I got some devastating news for you, Corey. I know this is going to fuck you up today, man. <laughs> what? That, my wife about to come in here? No. no <laughs> the nigga I love that, you, Maya. The nigga that invented the jerry curl, Willie Moreau, he died this week. What happened? <laughs> Antonio Alexander, real ones know a narcissist female preach God's word, Corey. That's real shit, Antonio Alexander. Thanks for that yard. Now, what they say about the curly kid? The nigga that invented, invented the Jerry the Curl, curl that died, died man. Week. Your idol. Willie Moreau. <laughs> he invented the Jerry Curl. He invented the Afro pick and, uh, and Afro shing. Gordo use pig. Look died. at Marcus. Marcus really tried to big up that joke. <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I met him. I met him. 
I That's the nigga who invented the Jerry Curl. I, I, I met him two years, uh, about three years ago. Me and Big, me and Big Jai was, uh, his mother was moving, so we went down there to, to move like his mom into a different uh, apartment. And his factory where he in, had all this shit was across from her apartment building. He had a big ass factory, kind of similar to this, with all like the stuff that he accomplished in his career. He took me and Jai on a tour. It was like a good brother. So, uh, shout out to him. him Couldn't and his one of y'all do shit with that shit in there. <laughs> <laughs> I See, it. I know why Marcus laughed. Marcus curl shit don't mean nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I used to, I used to have one back in the gap. I don't believe it. you. Yeah. Had Jerry curl. Yeah, Who me? Yeah. yeah. I don't have a curl. This is. I'm see, talking that, about back in the 80s. You had a Jerry oh, curl. Oh, in the 80s, yeah, I had a curl in my head. I had a curl put in my head, but it wouldn't take right because <laughs> it wasn't done right. Yeah, okay. If you don't know what you're doing, you yeah. just had some hair that got slicked back. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that nigga with a slick back. I mean, <laughs> he, he, he had one recently. Nigga, you never tried to slip back recently. Well, I was a live ass nigga when I was a young oh, motherfucker. Hell yeah. yeah. I ain't have to wear a hat all the time. That nigga look like. Ha ha ha. Me and I pick my shit off. Man. That nigga look like no, a hair. You ain't got dealer. no shame with your shit. Your shit grow just enough to keep it. <laughs> <laughs> it's still enough to keep it. Hell yeah. See, just, but you know what you should do? Well, what's your my opinion. Just don't touch it for a year. Just let somebody line it. Yeah. Just don't touch it for a year. Okay. And and take care of it. And when it's long enough to braid, because it'll get there. Yeah. Then start putting them little twists like I be doing. Yeah. Because yeah. when I put them twists in my hair, my shit grew back fast. My hair grew back in a month when I put them twists. In. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot. You, you know that, what's cold? Yeah, my them, dad them. got a long ass ponytail down to his ass. You don't take no type of uh, medication, do you? No. Because medication fuck your hair up, too. No. Your mama, they say you get it from your mom. My mom hair is short. Like, her shit don't grow. You got Okay. Like well, it, it be like that. But don't worry about it. Don't yeah. touch it for a year. All right, for Just sure. get it lined up. Yeah. He told me that same shit. You still going to get whole. Don't do that. He told <laughs> no, me that same shit. No, Marcus, it's over for you. <laughs> he told me that same He trying to set you up for jokes. Nigga, you got to go. We got to call what's the name back here to get your hair put in. <laughs> Al Green got to come um, glue your head on because <laughs> it's over for you in there. Yeah, he and it's okay. What? He showed us all that little, that's him, Willie Monroe. He showed us all that little equipment. He, got, he had like a museum. He turned all his accomplishments into a museum, which I thought was real dope. Well, that's what's up. Little light skin around. motherfucker, Craig. You got that's light skin history. Yeah. We should start doing the Craig Fact light skin nigga history. Hell yeah, man. Real spit. That nigga got that curly kit. Curly kit. See, I remember the commercial. Old school niggas know what I'm talking about. Curly kit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even heard that one. I remember what just for me. Just for me. Oh yeah, how that sound I love it. <laughs> but that was for broad. So. T U S T F O R me. That was for girls, yeah, right? It was curl, yeah, yeah, it was a curl box for girls. That's the only one I remember. Man, man, Just man. For me. I love it. I love it. I love it. Just for <laughs> me. T U S T F O R me. That's the museum right there. I said I've been right there in that in that in that little spot right there. I've that been right dope. there. Is his museum? It's a history. He got a, it's dedicated to him, but it's a history on black hair care in America. What's so that? he got pictures of everybody, what all kind of artists. A giant flat iron? I don't know. I don't remember exactly what that is, but you know, I've been through all that shit. He, he was a cool dude, man. If somebody rich out there, they should go buy that warehouse and preserve that motherfucker. For curl juice to be everywhere? Well, no, because he got relics of black hair care history. He got he got shit in there from 200 years ago. Oh shit, that motherfucker, Damn. that's called a nappy museum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I heard the homie Ricky Smiley and Arnez J um, saw each other on a plane and squashed some beef. They had beef? I ain't know that neither. Hey man, people be having beef, man. Yeah, comedy, that's what it is. Do you know what it was about? I don't know what it was about, but I'm glad they squashed the beef. Want me to tell you why I'm glad? Because they OGs. Right, right, yeah. right. Well, we OGs, man. We got to give a motherfucker a chance to start the shit over. Because sometimes people will respect that chance you give them to start over. They'll yeah. be like, oh, I ain't going to fuck it up no more. We cool now. Yeah. You, think comedy, you think comedy make us petty because we so op observational? We observe and we like dissect information. You think it makes us pettier than the average motherfucker? No, I think petty people are petty people uh -huh. who do comedy. Or who right. sing, I or whoever. If, yeah. I wonder if it was about jokes. 
I don't know if it was about jokes, but whatever beef they had, I'm glad they squashed it because, like I said, we OGs, and if we can squash a beef, I think you should squash the beef for the most part. Now, there are some people, I ain't going to lie, I don't have no beef with them. I just would not ever fuck with them again. Like, not on no hate. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm saying, like, I can speak to any nigga. What's up, brother? All right. But I'm always going to feed them with a long spoon. Right. Hell yeah. Because I feel like they fuck niggas. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. You know me, I, I can forgive anybody, but if you cross me, it can never be the same. I can still be cords on shit, but if you if I feel like you purposely go out your way to cross me, then that's like that's that's that I can't. You know, we can never be the same. Cause yeah. I don't, I can't think of nobody in in the last thirty years that I've said, you know what, I'm finna nigga, I'm finna huh. cross this nigga. I don't, I don't operate like that. So when a motherfucker right. do me like that, it's like you know. It's a comic out here. His name is G Strain. <laughs> nigga from St. Louis, G Strain. <laughs> that nigga. Was so mad at me, cause I look, man. The niggas, the niggas, a, a, a perpetrator. He's a hack. He he doesn't have an act. So that nigga tried to send some gangbanging niggas at me one time. Right. What? He tried. What that fire got put out. What the? F- he did. Oh. Happened in front of the comedy store. Some people saw it. I was gonna ask you, was he saying it was out here? Oh, it happened out here. He pay niggas to be his friends, if you got what I'm saying. Right. Wow. And I'm just saying, it's like, you can't fix that. Wow. Can you? Fi- how can you fix that when somebody try to get other people in your face? It ain't no way to do it. No. You can't fix it. Yeah, because you, you, you tried to intimidate me. Right. No, okay. you, used to, you, you was trying to pay niggas to jump on you, right? Niggas ain't jump on me. But I'm saying that's what the intention was, right? I don't know what the intention was. I know some niggas stepped to me. I didn't get jumped on. Yeah. I ain't really the nigga who gonna get jumped on like that. I mean, anybody can get jumped on. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying, like, I don't be on no bullshit. So if a motherfucker just jumping on me, he got sent off. And on top of that, like I said, I will say this. It's not wise for motherfuckers to just run up and try to jump on me. Because I'm not... I'm not regular. Don't do me like that. But this whole ass nigga did that, and that was an example. Uh, it was it was an intimidation thing. Was he? Was but he listen, what I'm saying. The motherfucker he sent. He was. Who are you talking about, Corey? And the motherfucker looked like. Like he almost was trying to squash the shit. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm oh, saying? So he was in the vicinity. The uh, uh, G-strain. Whole ass G-strain was up at the motherfucking comedy store. <laughs> yeah. Any nigga who hang with this nigga, first of all, you a nigga who like to get your ass kissed or is something wrong with you otherwise as a man if you got this nigga up under you knowing who this nigga is. So let me just put that out there. Any nigga who fuck with that nigga got major deficiencies. The nigga had, he used to, he used to try to do my jokes because he didn't know that half the niggas out there know me. Yeah. It wasn't working for him, so it got back to me. And he saw me one day when he was in this place out here. It was called M and M's. Oh, this used to be M and M's. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I heard. And he called some nigga up there because he was scared to come outside. I was like, "What?" And you know, you know, you know who saw it? It's a comedian named Doug Williams, oh, the motherfucker who Jamie Foxx. Fox, yeah. Doug Williams walked up to dude and he was like, what happened? What, is it a problem What y'all? He was like trying to be a diplomat. Yeah. But I'm telling you, the dude who G-Strang sent, in my opinion, was a cool dude and a man. It's just sometimes when you out here in LA and you a mark ass nigga, you gotta pay peon dues. And when you pay your peon dues, you might be able to get the average motherfucker um, checked or jumped on by somebody. Mm-hmm. G-String play, pay peon dudes out here to them niggas in the street. <laughs> so he tried to flex them peon dudes my way. And I was like, really, you should be dead, nigga. You should be dead, G-String. You should be dead, nigga. 
give a fuck who you hang with or who you pay to handle your shit. Motherfucker, look, the shit, the shit is squash, but it's squash because I am a man. The motherfucker they sent my way wasn't on that shit with me. Mm-hmm. They just was making sure I wasn't fucking with him because he act like somebody was fucking with him, like whole ass niggas do. I ain't want right. to come out. He ain't want to come outside. He didn't want to come outside. Then when he was at the comedy it's good show, to come he did it again. He did it again. And then motherfuckers was like, man, we got to get to the bottom of this. I'm like, what the fuck this nigga saying? That I'm, I'm, I'm after him? This is what the whole ass nigga did. And anybody who hang with that nigga, you a whole right with him. Hey, you see that? You see if you got a problem with me, you know who I am. Because that motherfucker be around niggas. I be like, they be with that whole ass nigga. And they know this nigga a hoe. So that's all I'm saying. You see that Snoop Dogg special? We, we had all the the whole ass nigga was on the couch. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was going to perform. Then he just sat on the couch the whole That whole ass nigga was on that couch because he a good ass kisser. <laughs> he might be an oral. He might be a motherfucker who give oral. Uh-huh. That's, you call him a fluffer. <laughs> what they call them oh, niggas yeah. who be sucking niggas dick to hang with them? Whole oh, ass niggas. <laughs> Go back was like, ah. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm going to get on stage. I'm like, okay, you get on stage. He always on a stage or in the scene. Mm-hmm. One day when I used to hang with the whole ass nigga, we was in front of the Beverly Center. The fire trucks came out there. The whole ass nigga act like he was on the phone in front of the fire truck because they were the, 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 uh, the news was out there. He walked past the news camera like, yeah, man, it's burning up out. I was like, oh, this nigga a weirdo. <laughs> this nigga a weirdo. I nigga should borrow underwear from you. That's what cut the ties. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the ones you just took off, Corey. <laughs> man, you know what, man? I that man, that's too bad, man. You know, that's too bad, man. I, I don't think it's nobody in comedy that I would have a parallel like with you and G thing, but it is a, one or two, you know, people where I'm like, uh, it could go there if I'm around them more, you know? You ain't gonna put them on blast, fuck them. No, but those- I'll who- put a nigga on blast, I don't give a fuck, because I ain't never did nothing for no motherfucking nigga to be sending some niggas at me. Because yeah. first of all, if I do something where a nigga gonna be sending some niggas at me, I'm a motherfucker had to handle that. Yeah. I'm gonna go home. Talk to the people. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, it's a nigga out here. I'm just getting you out of game. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Normally, if you really motherfucking do it the way you're supposed to do, your people reach out to their people. Because right. most comic is whole-ass dope fiend niggas. Yeah, that's yeah. real spill. Most comics is dope fiend whole-ass niggas. Yeah. Yeah. So when you get into it with these motherfuckers, like my nigga Craig said, just remember, you probably talking to a dope fiend Straight or a nigga up. who fuck niggas. And you know what, too, big <laughs> homie? I just got to the point maybe a year ago where comedy pay all my bills, right? So when you get to that point, that's like a whole different mentality, man. You be really focused on how to set yourself up for the next lick or how to make something you got going stronger and better, you know? Mm-hmm. Muff the Cowboy say he got a bisexual fist. Yeah. Hold on, man. Oh, that nigga, he off them things. <laughs> oh, that's why that nigga was fucking with me. Motherfucker, go, Mac. What them stairs look like uh, hey, the what Patagonia that, Mountain. Boy, that nigga, that nigga on them shrooms. Hey, go, man. That's slow, Mac. Where our food at, man? You had 12 pounds of food, man. Right, that nigga went to go get food. Hey, that nigga went to a buffet, oh, nigga. That's all right. Uh-huh. We going to the other joint when we leave here. <laughs> he picked all the meat off and ate the bones. <laughs> Somebody say, Marcus, you coming to St. Louis with Corey. Where you going to St. Louis? I don't know. That shit coming up on the schedule. I love going to St. Louis. Oh, yeah. St. Louis is good as fuck. It's it's don't don't go to the club in St. Louis. I went down there. You go to the club in St. Louis and you ain't got that goddammit on you, boy. Use a motherfucking, use a San Francisco treat. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, and queers. <laughs> hey, what? Huh? August 5th, 6th, and 7th, I'll be in St. Louis. This week, I'm coming up there to Austin, Texas. That club out there, I forgot the name of it. Cap City? I'm yeah. flying to Texas this week. I'm going to go to- uh, You fly to Texas? Yeah, I'm going to go to, uh, what, Houston? Uh, Houston? Yeah, I'm going to go to Houston. Uh, <laughs> the House, House of Blues on, on Saturday. Oh, that's then what's I'm, up. Then I'm what riding, they got going on? Ryan doing the House of Blues. Ryan doing the House of Blues. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Then, yeah. I'm, then I'm going to ride down there to Austin, fuck with you. You can ride down there? Yeah. Give a fuck? Yeah, I'm right down there for a witch. 
man, this nigga about to fall down the stairs. And I, I know, I know how loud it is when niggas fall. That is a loud fall. <laughs> hey, man, somebody walk with that nigga down the stairs, man. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That shit crazy. Darlene Ortiz on this motherfucker. She say, you guys missing me. She, oh, she coming in on now? Ain't nobody missing your ass, Darlene. You sit out oh, there. And you pull out that motherfucking um, uh, Shake It Good 1000 thing. You probably Oh, Darlene. Did. Darlene. Hey, 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 Darlene, did she do your show last week? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Darlene. Hey, Darlene was active on the show last week, Cole. She was active. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 she came through. She came through. Yeah. I, was, I was like, shit. So uh, the show was good last yeah, week? Yeah, she was, hell yeah. I, I ain't never seen Darlene talk. Look, Lavelle, Lavelle hit. Look at Lavelle, Lavelle done threw another hundred on there. Lavelle. Lavelle, love you, boy. Love you, boy. What's that, my mailbox, LA? Watch who up under you. Your boy got some smut on his name on the Inglewood side of the game. It's on VHS. Uh, I heard somebody inbox me. <laughs> what they talking about? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I wish I wouldn't have read that whole ass shit there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh, Motherfuckers say, uh, watch who you got up under you. Hey, man, I, I, I be by myself all day, bro. Where I be by myself for real. I have been by myself for the most part. I, I'm a loner. I'm a loner. So, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers say, watch who you got up under you. Shit, who be up under me, homie? <laughs> right. Who be up under me? That's another rumor. Yeah. I be by my motherfucking self all motherfucking day. I'm trying to think. This is my man right here. Do I be with you all the time? I see you occasionally. Yeah, you see me sometimes. When yeah. I see you, it be some yeah. good shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we always show each other love. Then, yeah. Other than that, though, I be by my motherfucking self, nigga. So whoever out there who got a cup as your face, motherfucker, keep that gossip shit at home, motherfucker. Who I hang with, motherfucker. Who I hang with, I'll tell you who I, who I hang with. So, you know what I'm saying? That's another thing. Motherfuckers love to put shit on you, and you be like, where that shit come from? Some motherfucker said it. We said the shit earlier about Stevie J. Right. Your niggas if you niggas be making shit up. Right. If you don't know what the fuck it is, watch who you hang with. Motherfucker, I'm telling you, I be by myself all day. Somebody. I know a lot of motherfuckers, and a lot of motherfuckers, if you ain't gonna say it to their face, then don't say it. That's what I got to say about shit like that. Hell All yeah. them motherfuckers, everybody who I talked about today, if I saw them, I'd say it. Whoever I'm, whoever I'm scared to say something about, I don't really talk about them that much. Because <laughs> if I ain't gonna say it when I see them, what that make me? Yeah. That's real. Right. Yeah. If right. I ain't gonna say it when I see you, then the fuck a motherfucker running my mouth for? If I said it, if I said it about you, I'm going to say it when I see you. That's yeah. something y'all young motherfuckers need to learn, goddammit. Yeah, man, these niggas ain't going to do that, man. These <laughs> niggas ain't going to do I'd have been face to face with some faulty ass niggas and that ain't said a goddamn thing. Yeah. These niggas out here don't know shit about being accountable for what you say and your actions, man. They just want to say shit because they see what other niggas got and they want it and they trying to get as close to that as they possibly can. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, the, you know, if you're making your own way, you ain't got to do shit like that, man. Somebody so, say, can the people get Lavelle on the show? Lavelle will come on the show. Lavelle, you know, when he gets a chance. Rito, uh, I talked to Rito about uh, Lavelle. Um, he, you know, he opened up for him in um, Arlington. Arlington. That's good. Arlington. That's yeah, a great yeah. improv. Yeah, he and Lavelle going to sell some tickets to that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he chopped it up with him. And right, shit. motherfucker. I ran in. I ran into Tariq Nasheed today. I don't really know him like that. I don't even know who he looked. Like. Another motherfucker. He got a big following. He the motherfucker who made that um, what's that shit um, what's that first DVD? You know what I'm talking about, Craig? Oh, yeah. Black Hidden Color. Hidden I mean, Color. Hidden Color. Hidden Color. Yeah, yeah. I ran into man. Tariq don't even look the same. That. Tariq the got in shape and everything. That. Big old That's nigga, crazy. man. Tariq, I was like, "That's you, my nigga." God damn. Yeah. I gotta start hitting these motherfucking waists again so I can start super socking these cank ass niggas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. That's my sister's first cousin. 
Tariq? Yeah. Brother Tariq, what up? Yeah. I saw Dion Cole at the motherfucking improv. Dion gonna come up here one day. Yeah. It's just, it be niggas really doing shit, dog. So you can't get mad if they ain't made it to your podcast yet. And it ain't like I be having motherfuckers book niggas formally. I just see my niggas and they be like, yeah, yeah. But if I had my people get a day, people, maybe it'll happen quicker. What keep you coming here every week? What keeps me coming here every week? Yeah. This is my chance for the people to see me. I don't have shame when the people see me because when the people see me, it enhances what I do. Right, there right, are right. some people I will tell them, don't let the people see you because you can't fool them no more. Right. <laughs> <laughs> some of these acts, man, look, these comedy clubs, man, I'm here to tell you, man, I hope they can stay open because being popular is a way to sell tickets. And sometimes people first comedy show be the motherfucker that they know from somewhere else. And they get to the comedy show and they get disappointed in comedy and they think all the comedy shows go like that. I just gotta put that out there as a, as a veteran in the game. I'm telling you, man, you gotta do your research on what's happening, goddammit. It. It's, it's some, some acts are, are, ain't gonna never be shit. Some acts are growing. Some acts are, you know what I'm saying, um, veterans in the game who've been doing it a while and they got a routine put together that might be worth sitting down eating some wings and having some drinks too. It's, it's, it's like you got to know what you're doing as a consumer now. You got to study what you're going to see. But sometimes people just want to see their peoples. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've seen that. I've seen people go on stage and they don't really be talking about nothing, but they got a fan base so strong, they don't care. They just want to take pictures with them. Hell yeah, you know, I be naming motherfuckers. Yeah. What that yeah. say in the yellow? It, what is that? It say Reese Daniels? Yeah. Is that what they say? Corey, you got to stand up. Dude and Marcus. Oh, shit, good looking on what you did with them ticks. Love the show since 2015 from Summertime Shot. Appreciate that, man. Respect. Respect. Appreciate it. Oh, Marcus up under me because I feel like when it really boiled down to it, he's a stand-up dude and he ain't no hoe. That's another thing. I don't like scary niggas. Right. Like, Craig, you said you don't like when bitches talk a certain way? Yeah. If a nigga is scary, I don't like that because it's something about <laughs> a scary nigga. You well, I'll be like... Fold under pressure. Huh. Right. Hello, nigga. Man, <laughs> I'd rather really take my L, man. I ain't, I ain't going to lie. I'll take an L before I fold. Somebody man. say, what's up with Nick Cannon? I called Nick Cannon today. Nick Cannon to be on the show? I was like, Nick Cannon, you got to come on the show and talk about all these hoes you be knocking up. <laughs> uh -huh. I told Kick, Nick Cannon I wanted to come out with a potency pill and name it Nick Cannon Strong. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Cannon be that motherfucker be hitting bullseye in the back of them holes. <laughs> Love you, boy. Nick Cannon gave me a shot at a time in this city where a nigga needed a shot. Yeah. That wilding out shit mm -hmm. turned into something that helped move me up in the game. That's all I'm gonna be talking about you when I, you know, because that's real shit though. Yeah. Nick Cannon, Kevin Hart. I be laughing when motherfuckers be like, "Yeah, Corey don't really talk about um, people that he he know." Y'all wouldn't do it neither. I'm supposed to talk shit about one of the few niggas out here that can stomach my ass. <laughs> I know I ain't no better roses. You know what I'm saying? Right, 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 right. So, Kevin Hart, Nick Cannon, uh, what's my nigga name in Atlanta with the big production? Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, uh, Chris Rock, Will Packer, all the motherfuckers. Uh, 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 what's the sister name? Who I did half and half with. Half and half. TV show half and half. I don't know why I'm blanking right now. Yvette Lee Bowser. Okay. Anyway. Jay Leno. Bob and Ross. Everybody who took a chance on a wretch like me. I got nothing but love and respect for you. Because I know I ain't no better roses. I'm not the bad guy people make me out to be. Because that's what the motherfuckers do. Oh, Corey. He did that and the other. Everybody who took a chance on me, I appreciate you. Thank you. I'm able to build a little goat path to eat out here in this high-ass L.A. where they want a million dollars for a two-bedroom house. <laughs> <laughs> on a little-ass block 
Well, when you open your bathroom window, you can see the next bitch jagging off. Well, you're going to be in somebody's garage, nigga, for uh, 1500 Somebody say I hang by myself because I stink. Fuck yeah. Uh. <laughs> I don't stink, nigga. I'm sexy as hell. Look at this face. Hold on. Watch this. Mm -mm. Nigga, you can't fuck with that, mm -mm. nigga. <laughs> Uh -uh. I can see Marcus, goddamn it, Marcus. <laughs> Marcus got a long way to go. Uh -uh. What's up with your debonair look, Marcus? You got one? You, uh, what you? <laughs> <laughs> Magazine, ready. Craig, what's up with your debonair look? You got one? Oh, you said my debonair look, man. I'll be dressed down, man. <laughs> I got a Because I know Craig got on he's, some of them. I the can't. He's about to move. You gotta, Craig got uh, on some. I can't go to jail tonight, short something. Oh, some swim well, trucks. That nigga got on some uh, Gucci Daddy shorts. Oh. Boy. <laughs> that nigga got, sat down and they rose that up. That nigga got on some boxes. <laughs> 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 hey, look that. Craig, you can't go to jail in them shorts, boy. Oh, no, man. They go to Whoa. the knees. They go to the knees. <laughs> I got some bullshit on for sure. <laughs> well, if you walk on Santa Monica Boulevard today, they're going to be like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Fats. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's funny. I man. like how his cap matches short. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this motherfucker is crazy. Corey, every time you tell you can't take a shit without coming, Corey. <laughs> Marcus, what you laughing at, boy? If you don't get that motherfucker. <laughs> R. Kelly at the high school is. <laughs> That's hilarious. Somebody, Lavelle said you doing the teddy bear, the teddy pendergrass story with that outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Get his ass, Lavelle. <laughs> <That's> Hell no. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, who else is there? Oh, yeah, they, they hitting me up on Cash App. Thanks, Christian Scott, uh, David Crumbly, and Lavelle wear them, Gregory. Where them suits, they be sagging. Shout out to Lavelle. Lavelle had on some boy shorts. He lost some weight now. Huh? I'm just fucking with he you. Been, he better not be out here like that. He better not wear them shorts Craig got on tonight. Oh, man. Yeah, like that uh, purple, uh, purple thing from uh, McDonald's. Remember, what's that? What's that? <laughs> Hamburglar? <laughs> no, that was Hamburglar. Grimace? Was Grimace. <laughs> what y'all think about this R. Kelly shit, man? Shit, what part of it? What is it, something new? That 30, they gave him that 30. They gave him yeah. more than 30. What, what they give him? They said that man looking at 100 years. 100? Yeah, it's over. It's over for Art Kelly. Hey. Hey, man. I thought they said 30. Hey, man. They sentenced them, right? So, yeah, that's crazy. You know, even more fucked up is what they're doing to Brittany Griner. <laughs> oh, yeah, she getting 10 up. years for a vape pen, but they got a white school, American school teacher locked up in Russia that molested four children, and he got less than 10 years. Wow. They well, we all know what it is with um, Brittany Griner. Like we talked about that shit. It's sad that she is out there under them people jurisdiction like that as a 6'8 black woman who acts like she a man. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't like that shit out there. They be on that bullshit with motherfuckers when you go to jail in these countries like that. What they say, Corey, stay motivated, bro. Shout out to Craig Fack, Marcus, your English is coming along. Uh. Finish your ESL class strong. <laughs> That's hilarious. New old school. Thanks for the $20. <laughs> no, I don't oh, like Brittany Griner coach. That was the bitch who started the shit. If LeBron would have been in trouble, they'd have went and got him. Yeah. And this is a this is this is a white pussy eating bitch. Yeah, that's, that's it's like it's, it's total disrespect yeah. without her even saying it. Here this man is, ain't in no drama. A black man with a black wife and a black family. Love his son to death and it shows. When his daughter was at the press conference, she act like she had some sense. Right. And this funky bitch who coached Brittany Griner team said, oh, if it was LeBron, they just shit on niggas for nothing. LeBron didn't do shit, bitch. 
LeBron got that bag. He ain't got the hoop and rushed you. Yeah. Yeah, she ain't had to attack that man personally like Brilliant. that, man. Yeah. That's what I'm that saying. This weak, this man. was the coach. He could have yeah. just said men or something like that, man. Well, Brittany Griner is a deadbeat that man, dad man. mom. Say that again? Brittany Griner is a deadbeat dad mom. She ain't yeah. no deadbeat dad mom. That bitch got them, them checks, uh, them residuals, all that shit. They, that bitch all right. That bitch you, that bitch you at home. Uh, I, it must feel good to know a motherfucker ain't going to pop in when you eating pussy. <laughs> <laughs> And nigga Biden don't give a fuck about her neither. You see that shit? Funny. He messed up on that speech. I mean, where he was <laughs> <laughs> repeat line. What did it say? Because I remember they said we yeah, wrote, we that wrote to the president. On that. He read everything on the script. It what is it? Repeat line. <laughs> <laughs> he was just reading the script, and it was obvious. They be reaching out to motherfuckers like they gonna say them, <laughs> but talking shit about a nigga. If it was LeBron, <laughs> motherfucker, the president ain't eating that long pussy. <laughs> president don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't want the sister Brittany Griner to be in no type of prison because I don't believe she should be. She the motherfucking head of the household. <laughs> this, this, well, I want to know why LGB, the, the T, whatever they, why they ain't, why, that's who, that's who really. Will be making shit happen. Will y'all please say it again? They be making shit happen. Why ain't they at the forefront? I ain't heard nothing from them. I ain't heard a peep from them. Ain't she part of that community? That motherfucker Lavelle say I donated that hundred that hundred dollars just to say funky bitch. <laughs> just to hear you say funky bitch. <laughs> Lavelle, you stupid nigga. <laughs> no, it, it, they ain't behind the shit like they supposed to, but. That LGBT shit, maybe it don't hit as hard in Russia. <laughs> they be like, we don't give a fuck about you pussy sucking bitches. <laughs> maybe that's how it go in Russia. <laughs> you pussy suckers get jail out here. Is that Russian? That ain't come out right. Uh, that's some uh, white shit. That's, 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 that's some white shit. So it's just some white shit. European white motherfucker. Yeah, they just a white man with a mouthful of spit. It's good. Would you eat Brittany Grind of pussy if she told you? I would you? eat pussy for sure. For what? I'm just saying, she she hoops, she famous. Hell no, not for nothing. So you ain't attracted to her, is that what you're saying? Let me look at her. Let me look at her. You've <laughs> seen her before? I forgot what she looked like, man. Like a you grinder, know what Nick. Brittany Grind looked like? Let me see, man. Let me see. She looked like Beaker from the Muppets with a nose. <laughs> oh, she, she a funny looking motherfucker, but man, she, no, she them teeth. She you said them Ooh, teeth. Ooh, that forehead. Ooh, that forehead. Long in the bit. She light-skinned, though. No, she ain't cute, though. Just because she light-skinned don't mean she cute. That she go right there. That's a thug, nigga. That oh, maybe, man, she, like one of, she like one of me, though. Look like old boy from Criss Cross. Jump, jump. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Make it, make it, make it. That bitch too big. That's a big she not ugly, nigga. I'll smack her. You, you'll eat it from the back? No, man. I, <laughs> missionary, man. You can't eat that pussy from the back. You, you gotta, feet, you'll stare at a crib. If you look back at them feet while you're eating that pussy <laughs> from the back, boy, them feet going to be long than a motherfucker. You can't get to that pussy doggy style. You have to be standing up I, in the bed. I, I have to make that bitch put a dress on. She's so six, she eight, nigga. Right. You got to be standing on your tippy toes in the bed to fuck her doggy style. What's she yeah, going to oh, say? See I, can see, I can see right here. This picture right here showed me that she can get right. And she get herself together. This picture she right here. She get herself together. What she, she got to do? She got to. She got to get 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 get. I don't know. She not. I ugly. knew you didn't have nothing to say. <laughs> I knew it. Somebody she say she look like Waka Flocka. She only gay because she's Wiz Khalifa. Light skin, two chains. They going at it. Look at the picture right there with her wife. Look at that. Her wife. It's bad. Oh, yeah, the old girl. She bad. That's like Queen Latifah. With the brain. Boy, if you don't get that milk bottle, get it, that bitch having ass up out of here. She's straight, though. That look, that she's little straight bigger. for the scrote now, no? I know she's straight for oh, you. Yeah. But <laughs> I mean, that nigga's way you got bad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> for you, that's a good Corey, cover up, Mark. Corey, didn't you say it's it? hard to, it's hard to like. Turn to see Brittany like that because this, this, this bit like all them tattoos. Hey, and shit and can somebody get a blow dry so Marcus' <laughs> arms can motherfucking. <laughs> this bitch got his elbow spread. Oh, he he trying to hold them arms down. Of course, so you wouldn't smash, you wouldn't smash her? 
The wife? Yeah. Yeah, but I talk shit immediately. Uh, okay, what you don't like about the wife? It ain't what I don't like about it. That ain't my speed of bitch. That's a decent bitch. She yeah. decent for you. Titties is cool. Yeah. That's right, them titties. And from this picture, this motherfucker decent. I fuck with it. For you. Yeah. Right. I bless her. That yeah, devil? bless her. Shit. What about Britney, Britney titties in that tank top right there? Britney, 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 Britney. Britney. She look like she smell like your yeah, armpits Britney, right Britney now. Britney ain't bad now. So once, she, bad, once the dick in her, she gonna lose I feel like life. if she dolled up, like she had like a one of the mommy makeovers or whatever they call nah, it. Nah, hell no. Nah. I heard what Craig said. You put that dick in Brittany Grinder, she, she gonna, gonna go, uh, uh, nah. She gonna grind your shit, nigga. She gonna, nigga, she gonna start. She got a grinder in her coochie. No, gonna, can you imagine Brittany Grinder say, give it to me? She got a voice <laughs> deep like that? What? I ain't never heard of her voice. Her voice went high when she was trying to get out. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> She gonna loosen up in the bed. She gonna start scooting that pussy towards you once you get it in. She, gonna she ain't got to scoot that pussy towards you. That bitch six eight. <laughs> she tall, that bitch man. all over that bed. They don't make beds big enough for that bitch to hide. She's six Love eight. It. Six eight. That means she wear at least a fifteen. I'll be climbing in that coochie. Can you see her in some high heels talking about? Come in, Marcus. <laughs> I see skies blue. <laughs> <laughs> we joking with the sister. We wanted to get out. That nigga crazy. She played in my hometown. Come on, Corey. <laughs> Where's your hometown, nigga? I root for Brittany Griner. I hope she get home. This on I, the LGBTQ community. They they are not standing up like they're supposed to. Them motherfuckers said, said man, they, I somebody they said she's crazy right now. Somebody said she 130 days straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, she ain't had no pussy but her own. She, she ain't been able, able, she ain't been able to vape or nothing. She in there raping bitches. You know yeah. that's what's going on. She probably in that tad bitches cat <laughs> raggedy. She, she probably done raped the guard already, nigga. <laughs> 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 Grind on me. You know, she was making half a meal playing in Russia. That's good. No, they said she was making a meal. And oh, she, meal, okay. She was making uh, 250 hits. I heard it was 500,000, like Craig said, but it mm. don't matter. Okay. She was making some money. That's why she was out there. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. When now they that work, pussy ain't doing nothing but getting fingernails on it. Uh, yeah, well, they she worth more to them than uh, than to us. Well, you know they they pay more for their girl sports out there. They be like, we want to see the so, bitches. So is she like one of the highest paid in 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 uh? Bush? I don't know. I wonder if she is the highest paid. She probably all is. I know is she's, she's, she's the highest paid here, huh? She got to be one of the top. Yeah. She wanted to talk. She wanted to talk. Cause I yeah. think somebody, I think the highest paid was like two sixty something. Somebody. Is that right? Okay. I, I feel like I That's seen that. That's their max. Who would they trade her for? What's the equal piece for Russia to try to get? For what? For for Brittany Griner. Like what's what? Ain't no telling who America got American prisoners. They got. Yeah. They they did. trade for. They want. They trying to get traded for this nigga named the Merchant of Death. They they want. They, I heard they was trying to trade. Um, for mm. a couple of Marcus shirts. <laughs> <laughs> they can work on their nuclear program. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, you can raise your arm now, Marcus. People have seen your arm. I ain't, I ain't got no question. I ain't raise my arm. Why you, why you hugging yourself now? Huh? <laughs> since I brought up them wet arms. <laughs> That's why it took a while for me to say something. They've been wet since five minutes into the show. <laughs> a gay nigga want to fuck the shit under your arm. <laughs> That nigga arms be wet under there. Huh? Get out of here. <laughs> Gay niggas, they want muddy arms. They want to fuck you under your arm and smell your head at the yeah. same time. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> what, you <doing? laughs> what you doing when Ryan flirt with you? You're going to be out. What happened? <laughs> Say it again. I said, what you doing when Ryan flirt with you when you be out? Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm just playing, right? And you're like, but see, Marcus, you be tripping. <laughs> Your numbers prison. ain't right. Yeah, that's a ride in prison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. I hate when people act like I don't like Ryan, though. I don't like that shit. Me and Ryan signify. Don't we signify like this in front of the improv all the time? I be going at Craig. I go at everybody. You too easy. That's why I don't go at Oh, Craig. man, get your ass. Especially but... when you be sitting there with your cousin and y'all have on y'all matching outfits <laughs> like this. You <laughs> niggas <laughs> be Fuck you. That ain't expensive to dress like that all the time. I mean, as far as I 
Clean, clean, because you got to put, you don't wash that in the regular <laughs> washing machine. You, you take the cleaners, right? Yeah. I know, I know. I take my hat off to y'all for finding the Sibbity Sam stove. Uh. <laughs> yeah, he thinking of something. <laughs> I ain't thinking of nothing. It ain't fair that, that bottom bro you got. Huh? Go ahead. Uh-huh. <laughs> it ain't fair that I talk about you because the way I look. I mean, it's just blessing. <laughs> it's just blessing. Let me get my look on again. My debonair look. Never that. That's a never that look. Ain't no never that, nigga. <laughs> 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 hey, look at my hair. That hair shit. Dude. You can't talk about hair. Uh, Take your hat off, Mark. Oh, yeah, that motherfucking sex hair. Why your yeah, hair man, wet as your arm? No, it ain't. It just shining. It just shine like one. Why your shit grow? What you thought I did? It grow dude? deep in the back. Boy, if you want if, if you weren't worried about nothing but a ponytail, <laughs> Nigga, you will be killing them out here, boy. Just the, the middle be gone. Right. The middle. Look like that nigga in Apocalypto. Yeah. You know they got that, that, uh, that, that shit now, that regeneration shit. What's that? The hair regeneration. Nigga, where they uh, take it from the back of your head. Oh, you talking about the surgery. Hell yeah. yeah. Let your hair grow in the back, Marcus. Fuck what people think, man. You a man. <laughs> man shut up, Zanky. <laughs> Zangief. <laughs> Zangief. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hell no. <laughs> anyway, so Darlene ain't here. Y'all want to perpetrate loose talk about bullshit? <laughs> yeah, loose talk about what we got coming to the topic. All you got to do is just read an article. They said that he went there and he was there and he said go over there. <laughs> <laughs> don't interrupt me while I'm trying to read. All right, Corey. Don't Once make me talk there, about you because you know I'll get on you. You know I'll get on you. <laughs> <laughs> what else she be saying? Huh? <laughs> 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 well, that's what they get if they were messing uh, with her. If they mess with her, that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> Well, don't mess with her then. If you don't like her, don't mess with her. <laughs> Corey, and she going to kill you. She, <laughs> she was loose on my She was loose on my show. Was she? She was loose. I didn't see it. What happened? She was Who was all there? Chad. Chad was shooting at her. Who was Chad? What cuz? Oh, look, Chad, he be so cute. He was shooting. I know he was flirting with him. He called him cute. That's hilarious. Chad was like, Darlene, so let me ask you something. (laughs) He was shooting hard, too, Dick. Chad, man, cool, too, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, if that boy was six feet, boy, he'd be getting all these hoes. (laughs) Now when he flirt, they be like, oh. Uh, You them little ass shorts, you wearing his size shorts right now, (laughs) Dick. Chad the homie though. He swole in everything. It's just He he kinda he kinda like Craig. He, he can't recover from that, swole, that five three, saying? he you can't know, recover. He, he yeah. got that he got that the, 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 the uh, keg belt. <laughs> man, he in better it. shape than you, motherfucker. Oh, nigga, I got, oh, nigga, I got, hey, nigga, I got nigga, some abs. Look at this, you got right our now. shirts off. I got some abs. Let's do it. I, I got some abs. You, you know, I got some abs, nigga. No Craig, punk. you really finna take your shirt off? I ain't no punk, man. Craig, you know you fat now. I did this to myself. I ain't you, running you ain't, you ain't all the way, you ain't <laughs> all the way, fella. Go ahead, y'all give it up for Craig Smith. There you go. Right, you starting to be on the lunchroom lady side of the game, Craig. <laughs> hey, I got a, I got an article. This is some interesting shit. Come on, come on with it. Scientists have recently came out with studies that said they could tie heart disease to the soil they grow our food in. Of course. That's some crazy shit, man. I mean, what do you eat healthy in America? It ain't shit. I mean, you I know, guess nothing. I should be... Uh, 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 you're going to get sick, you're going to get cancer, you're going to die if you live in America. You really should be getting the exit plan up out of here. I've been saying that, niggas. I, I was talking crazy. If you live in America, you're going to get sick, you're going to get cancer, you're going to die. You're not going to live your full life uh, uh, expectancy as it, as, it, as it should be. You should be able to be walking in your motherfucking 80s and 90s. Yeah, real spill. But if you've been eating an American diet, you ain't going to be walking probably in your 80s and 90s. Right. No, this should be other countries. Uh, is that food is banned in other countries? Well, people don't know what happened in Subway. They talking about what R. Kelly did, though. 
But do you know what the people in Subway was doing? What was they doing? Some of the Subway sandwiches. What? They was making the bread out of yoga mats. What? Wow. Homie, they didn't go to jail for it. It wasn't no bad article. It's all over about R. Kelly and this hustle for his motherfucking masters. Because that's what it is. All you funky bitches who in there pointing at R. Kelly after he fucked you and put his dick in your mouth. Let me tell you something. I'm talking about all you bitches who know you was not over, I mean, underaged. All y'all some funky bitches and the only reason they get you trouble is because they want his masters. Because he wrote a lot of music for a lot of people. But Subway was feeding you niggas yoga mat remnants. You ain't hear about nobody going to jail. Oh, my God. I ain't even heard that. Hell no, that's crazy. I heard they, they was giving they motherfuckers bread made out of the yoga mat shit. Ain't nobody been to jail. Yeah, I heard they, they meat was, was, was some other shit. But I well, we know that's the airway. Yeah. I heard fast food ain't even real meat. That ain't, you think they got a million cows to slaughter every day? Hell no. Nah. That ain't no motherfucking burgers. <laughs> I wish we had some uh, a meat tester. We can test the meat. Hey. Craig, that shit you yeah, said man. don't catch me off guard. Hell Wait a minute. Nah. They warrant they found in the basement for white the warrant. Wait a minute. What is that? Is that warrant? The, they put a warrant out for the arrest of the white woman that falsely accused Emmett Till of sexual harassment. She's still alive, so they recently put out an arrest warrant for her. She Man, if y'all motherfuckers <laughs> don't get the fuck out of here, dog. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. Well, that's good information, Bright Collector. Motherfucker, dog, let me tell you something about that R. Kelly shit. I believe R. Kelly is a scumbag. Mm-hmm. Do I believe this shit they doing to him is railroad? They railroading him. Do you know, dog, we brought up Charlie Sheen earlier. Dude, if you knew what Charlie Sheen did out here in motherfucking California, fucking with these young boys, ain't no motherfucking way in the world you should be talking about no motherfucking R. Kelly. Because even if he did fuck with underage girls, they was with it. They was with it. <clears throat> let, me, let me ask you, so, so he, ain't, he ain't rape enough? Sheen was fucking raping boys. Look it up if it ain't been erased. Motherfucker talk about some shit surviving R. Kelly. That's what they use the motherfucking niggas they got in charge to promote, like Oprah. They use Oprah to promote that shit. That's why she got her slot. Oprah ain't shit but a wolf foot motherfucker. Oprah ain't shit. They gave her that slot. You use your platform to promote. Oprah one day talked about the farmers and what they was doing with the meat. They was finna kill that bitch. Anybody know about that? Mm-mm. They was finna kill that bitch. What they, what, they, what, they, what they say about the farm? She was putting that shit on blast about them bogus ass cows and the meat and all that shit, how they was doing it. They, they was finna kill that bitch. Hmm. How long ago was this? Phil said she got sued, but she was giving, because she was giving people information. Oprah is not allowed to give you information to help your motherfucking ass. She got to pass that information to somebody else and let them tell it. They did what? I said Who? she got to pass that information to somebody else and let them tell it. She worked for them, nigga. What you mean? Mm-hmm. Who, Who she going to pass it to? I'm talking about if she's trying to blow the whistle. She can't blow the whistle. She want to stay in her position of power and not have to face the world. Can but you imagine Oprah? To, huh? Can you imagine Oprah without money out here trying to motherfucking get somebody to fuck her? <laughs> Have you seen Oprah and Gail without makeup? Of course. It's some Them some men and black bitches. It's some freaking niggas out here, man. It's niggas that'll fuck Wendy Williams with that, if she was broke. It's some Oprah freaking got niggas ass. out here. You tripping. The niggas who will fuck her are the niggas who own their status of fucking her. Boss niggas don't fuck motherfuckers like Oprah and Gail and, and, and Wendy Williams. Boss niggas don't fuck them. They, if they on TV with a dude, it's for the publicity. Ain't no motherfucker boss ass nigga finna choose that. Can you imagine that as your motherfucker you stepped to the game with? <laughs> Look at everybody, this is my bitch. And it's Oprah with some flip flops on. <laughs> you can't do it. We as men strive so. to have something that's presentable to step forward with. The worst thing in the world in this world is for an ugly bitch. See, an ugly man, if he got money, he can still marry 
a bitch with money because bitches want some money. But an ugly day. bitch is in trouble <laughs> from grammar school on up. <laughs> Kindergarten. The doctor, it is a fact. This is a Craig fact right here. <laughs> <laughs> the doctors hit ugly babies on the ass harder than they do cute babies. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fact. They give them the whoop it. <laughs> One of the lights went out. Damn, it got dark as hell over here. Hell yeah. Them motherfuckers, we got to get some lights that last the whole session. Why y'all use them pussy-ass lights? <laughs> I bought oh. some lights. I remember when I bought some lights, Phil was like, don't buy them. <laughs> I'm telling you, Cole, don't <laughs> buy them right there. You. And them lights would fucking light up this motherfucker. They make the ones, It'll Cole. look like goddamn <laughs> Cole, buy these cameras. Boy, listen to me what I'm telling you. Yeah, don't buy them to make the ones, Corey. Phil, look, that's I my nigga. I know which one. I love Phil. I love Phil. <laughs> Phil called me the day. Phil called me the day. Phil said, Cole, I'm going to buy you some lights. Yeah, Cole, I'm going to buy you some lights. Yeah, Cole, I'm going to buy you some lights. Yeah, Cole, I'm going to buy you some lights. What is it, Phil? You can tell me. <laughs> Still remind me of them, uh, them, them uh, that old commercial. Yeah. Yeah. Green giant. Mm. <laughs> something about being sovereign. Oh, so, oh yeah. You talking about uh, uh, with the government? It's breaking away from the government, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're, You're your own person. Yeah. I be seeing the motherfuckers. Like they be telling the police, "I'm a sovereign." So oh. yeah, I'm a sovereign. <laughs> They got sovereign IDs? Yeah. yeah. With the fans on. They got sovereign license plates? Sovereign? <laughs> you know yeah. about it, Marcus? Yeah, yeah the Moors be bit. doing that. They be, man, you be sovereign. Give me 10K, I'll be right back. They had back. congressional hearings after Ophir exposed the meat. They were uh, trying to take her down. Urban too. flavors, no. They did what with the sovereign now? I said, you can get rid of your social security number, too. Yeah. yeah. So you can just get from under the thumb of the government. Phil said they have a process where you get sovereign. Okay, Phil, I ain't trying to put you on blast. Well, can I ask you one question? I would be very impressed if you can handle this. I don't know if the people can hear him, but we watch and we'll be able to tell. Phil. Now, you was finna tell me about being sovereign today, right? Okay, I ain't trying to buzz you out because you know I got respect for you. Listen, can you spell sovereign? <laughs> okay, I want to hear it. Spell it. He couldn't spell it. I can spell it. I can spell it. All right, he's right. What'd he say? S-O-V-E-R-E-I-G-N. There it is. He figured it out. I'll give you your credit, Phil. Somebody said, correct your status. Kev been trying to put you on, Co. Uh, what they said, keep sweating next. Maybe you young, but you ready. I don't know what y'all motherfuckers talk about. Anyway, Oprah Africa trafficking. Oprah Africa jacket. What they say, Akron, Ohio shooting talk. Somebody, was it another shooter in Akron, Ohio? Is Sovereign. S-O-V-E-R-E. E I, e I G N, e -I -G -N. That sovereign. That's right. I thought that was some shit you put on pancakes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna look into this shit that yeah. Phil talking about. The Moors, I'm finna be sovereign, everybody. <laughs> the Moors be pushing that, man. The yeah. Moors. Yeah. Your cousin the Moor? Yeah. He got Native American rights. Okay, I want to ask you a question, Phil. You know what they did to the Native Americans, right? <laughs> they slaughtered all of them. Who is they? Most of them, right? Is anybody have the hey, anybody got the courage to say who did it? Who did it? White people. Well, then white America. Folk. Craig well, we're said the white Native people. Americans. Right, European. Yeah, them white folks did it. That's, they they slaughtered them, and they and they was they, almost gone. And they put them against each other too. They put them against each other too. They imported us, right? I mean, we the niggas who didn't make it on the trip got through all. Some of us got that native blood too, though. Yeah. Right, it was black well, people here people, too. Of us was already here. Yeah. Who are the Moors? 
I know, I know. That's why I'm just trying to make sure. If Zoe so, so would get excited if we was talking about this now, mm. Zoe so would be like, yeah. <laughs> I talked to Zoe today too. Oh, that's yeah. dumb. Man, I be calling my people, man. Freeze, what's up with you, baby? Anyway, let me see. If you, if, if no you that, longer you qualify fall for under when it happens. codified law, you no longer fall under codified law. You still going to get your ass locked up, though. You do right. some crazy shit. Right. Phil, Phil talking off camera. He said the United, United States, States government, government is a corporation. corporation. Well, what what Phil is basically trying to say is you can acquire paperwork that will help you in your battle against the beast. Is that about right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I want to hear. I, I want to so. hear the benefits. I want to see well, a list they of they benefits. Talk, they talking about um, land rights. Huh? They talking about land rights when they talk about sovereignty. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean, so uh, yeah. uh, right. And so basically, right. Indeed. Somebody, well, somebody, still, somebody said my people are from you, here, not Africa. But if you, but if you, but if you still, you commit crimes. They. Long as you don't kill anybody and you don't damage anybody's property. We'll have a show about it because everybody I'm, can't I'm, hear I'm, Phil. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, read up on it. Everybody can't hear I Phil. Wanna, I don't want to talk too much about it if I don't know. I don't got enough information. On you gonna it. read up on it? I'm gonna read up on it. Man, I know that shit. I'm going to go to Barnes and Noble. You can denounce your debt. You can get money. Like it's, it's, if if somebody can recommend a great book on it, I I I read up on it. Then. Phil said the government has made us slaves. Somebody say, claim your nationality. You're already sovereign. But you know, it's one what's your nationality? Um, what is that? What does that say? Spink son. What is our, what is, what, what is your nationality? That's what I want to know. Cause see, we talk all this shit about what type of documents you can acquire. And I hope the documents help you in your battle against the beast. Cause that's what your battle is going to be against the beast. Because let me tell you something. In this country, they have a way of making sure you have no power, and it's called putting the case on you. They did it to Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. They did it to R. Kelly. They do it to whoever. You name them. They put a case on you, you in trouble. Yeah. They ain't got to us yet because they, they feel like we ain't we safe. But, God damn it, if, if, if we keep doing this show and they keep doing numbers... They going to put a case on it. Yeah. Make this is what they're doing to Donald Trump right now. Donald Trump, I believe he had something to do with that insurrection. Yeah. Where the terrorists invaded the Capitol. Okay. You believe he had something to do with it directly? They didn't, they didn't holler at them people. Okay. You know what they told them people? What? This is what you're going to do. We're going to create a bad guy, and it's going to be Donald Trump. And if you don't want no problems... If you want to be free without going to jail, you're going to testify that you were doing this for your president. This is what it's going to boil down to. Remember I told you this. Okay. So they're they, going to they court are, for, for it right now. Donald yeah. Trump finna get all that shit. They finna put all that around his neck. Mm. Mark my word. They got to find somebody to blame. Right. They can't say white people who went in there were maniacs and they should have been shot for fucking doing that shit. They going to act like they were patriots. And they were doing it because their president told them to do it. Remember, I told you, I know the script. When I see it, I be watching the shit. Like who they finna, who they looking who they looking to put the they shit? They always got a scapegoat. Right, that's what I'm trying to say, brother. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If it boiled down to it. Craig is going to talk about how the store put them shorts on sale. He's not going to say, I wore these shorts because I wanted to wear them. <laughs> Both of y'all got some dukes on tonight. Mm. You need duking to, it out. You need to put some arnica under your arms. Some what? <laughs> arnica. What's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, some old shit. <laughs> Something you put on this chin. Your armpits, Marcus, are cock blocking you. 
<laughs> That's crazy as a motherfucker. <laughs> a, you got to be one. You looking for something? Heads. You looking for I something was, on me? You okay, like large head. You're like Frankenstein. You remember Frankenstein? Say you Corey, you got a big head. Frankenstein. You remember Frankenstein? <laughs> that big large ass head. You Say Corey, you got a big head. <laughs> no, <dude. laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. But look at this dance, though. I be in the club. I be like, <laughs> you gonna tip over, nigga? Damn, you been going, can't man. fuck with that dance. Look, Kim, what's your goof at? Strong Nick ass. Oh yeah. Oh you, man, she. You gonna get Charleston White on the show? Somebody said, get Charleston White on the show. <laughs> Who is Charleston White? That nigga that's talking reckless about. Uh, they talk what? I wouldn't suggest you doing it, Charleston White. He the dude that be saying all the reckless stuff about the Crips and the Bloods and Nipsey Hussle and uh, he just go hard on everybody. I never met him. I don't know. I ain't up. I on seen him. it, but I, what I seen, he was talking about. Uh, it was so recent. Wet arms. <laughs> what did that nigga talk about? That nigga was talking about. Damn, it was a controversial topic recently. Was <laughs> Somebody say put some salt under your arms, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> they say you need tussy. <laughs> they say you look like IR Babu. Hey! <laughs> I look like who? IR Babu. You remember, uh, Somebody say let's see your I shorts, Weezy. Corey. No. My shorts straight. Look, I got on some long white shorts. Marcus was just talking shit. They go beyond my knee. They just some white linen shorts. No, what? He got some got shorts that slide up. You gonna show your shorts? <laughs> yeah, he, he tried he to, to pull, pull them down. down. <laughs> Corey shorts slide up like that too. When he, <laughs> he got a, look. They at the bottom of his ass right now. Nigga. He got. He, he All said, I want you to do on camera is this, Marcus. <laughs> show everybody that goo. Ain't nothing that going goo on right gathering. That just this, this shirt a different color right here. <laughs> This nigga got a shadow camera on his shirt. <laughs> anyway, y'all motherfuckers, man. Craig, I'm glad you came through this motherfucker. Me too. Marcus motherfucking always got my back in this motherfucker. Darlene out there, she actually, I think she had to take care of a family member or something like that. So, goddammit, 5150, goddammit, we live every week. Y'all motherfuckers, we love when you sit up there. First of all, for all the people who, wait a minute. For all the people who motherfucking, wait a minute, Charleston, on there, it would be. Oh, I thought they was talking about the city of Charleston. But anyway, y'all motherfuckers who support us every week, man, we appreciate y'all motherfuckers, man, and the people that talk shit about us every week. Y'all keep watching too, goddamn it, because all y'all motherfuckers be watching. I know y'all motherfuckers be watching the nigga. Why you talking shit? You watching? You too shy? I wish you would subscribe, motherfucker. Man, help a nigga I can't channel. Stand this. They come watch every week. Well, I think motherfuckers starting to do that on my shit, man. They starting to come over there just watching and won't hit the subscribe button. Man, hit that subscribe, man. I'm should... trying to get to 20K this week, man. Help me get to 20K this week, man. If you're here, if you're listening, I'm at 17.5. That's 2,500, man. Go on, look out for you, boy, man. Give me to that 20K. Craig about to take a swim to test to go in the deep end of the pool. <laughs> Yeah. Shit, I, I need to take that. a swim, nigga. That Corey, what you think about Fresh and Fit Podcast? I think I heard of that. Who is that? Uh, shit. Fresh, I've, I've heard that, too. Some podcast. I think they out of Fresh Florida. They be having a lot of bitches on their podcast. And they got into it with another podcast over something, and they showed up, and I guess they were supposed to fight, and the Fresh and Fit niggas didn't fight. Some, something that was weird. Something goofy, you know. They got a decent show, though. Man, I ain't I, up on them. Is it a light skinned dude and a dark skinned dude? Yeah, it's a, yeah, I think so. And they I've say they don't. Is it, don't the people are those the guys that say they don't fuck with black women? I think they do say that. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, I see. But see, like when you do shit like that, like see, we talk about women, but we talk about the, the wretched women. Right. But when you a motherfucking man and you say you don't fuck with black women, then you a fuck nigga to me. Like, how the fuck can I respect you? And you say, my mama black, oh, nigga. Oh, I remember these niggas, yeah. You don't yeah. fuck with black women, I can't fuck with yeah. you. Yeah. If that's who the people are. Right. If right. you say, if you say, oh, we don't fuck with black bitches, because I think that's them niggas. Right. You a cake-ass nigga to me. I agree. You a mark-ass nigga. I can't fuck with you for real. I don't give a fuck if you get mad at me. I'm just saying, like, that might start some shit, but I'm that nigga. I think I saw the nigga, he had a gun on a nigga. 
Did he? That was by his house. That's crazy. <laughs> or some nigga, he was, he was in an argument with a nigga, and the nigga just had the gun out. Oh, one of the niggas used to be a cop? Yeah. Oh. That's them. I seen them. I can't respect no niggas who motherfuckers say, oh, I don't fuck with black women. No, nigga, hell no. All these wretched ass bitches out here. I can see if he say, uh, 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 all women do wretched shit, then he, well, that, it, well let, me, let me get this right. You can't single out the black women and expect me to respect you as a man. Like, if I saw them niggas, I probably would try to go the other way because I wouldn't want to speak to a nigga who say some shit like that. Right. Yeah. Like, you ain't my kind of guy. Oh, you, you don't like black women, then you don't like my mama. Right. You don't like my sister. You don't like my That's family. That's weirdo shit to me, man. Right. So cake-ass niggas like that, I mean, I hate that somebody asked me that. I wish I, I, I wish I wish I would have been better prepared. Then I wouldn't have said what I'm saying now. Right, right, right. But I'm speak from the heart. I can't fuck with no niggas, especially a motherfucker if you black. One of them is actually a dark nigga. He look like you, Marcus. Look like me. What do you mean? He my color? Yeah. Oh, I thought he you your nigga skin tone. Like me. Oh, that nigga don't look like me. And you know what that nigga right there? Where the nigga at? I can't see him. Is that, I guess that's the nigga, yeah. Like, how the, what the fuck I'm going to say to you if you right. denounce my, my motherfucking race? Yeah. You <laughs> nigga, know what's crazy, too? Somebody, get your cake ass nigga, the fuck out of here, nigga. nigga. loading the motherfucker they on his face. It grew fast. It's only been around like a couple years. It's already at almost a million. Right. Them motherfuckers oh, going to really? blow up more because I said something about them. But it's so, I saw, I be seeing a lot of these niggas. I never really say shit about them because... I don't give a fuck, oh, but immigrants. you can't, don't, any niggas out there that'll say, I don't like black women, please don't speak to me when you see me. And if you speak to me and I know you, you just fucking with me, I'm just saying, I'm gonna know you're a super duper whole ass nigga because you want drama. But if you out here in this world talk about you don't like black women, I dare you to say you don't like white women on your podcast, they'll shut your podcast down. You say you don't like black women because that's an easy target. You could say that, and don't nothing happen. Just like you can say nigga on a TV show all you want. And saying, don't nothing happen. I'll be saying it. But if you say white bitch, your whole channel will be gone. So I ain't got no respect for no motherfucking nigga. I'll be saying don't like white women. Coming my, niggas my like podcast. that. What'd you say again? I'll, I'll be saying I don't like white women on my podcast. My, my YouTube channel is you know Marcus. Why are you? I mean, what you just say? I be saying I don't like white women on my podcast. Why? Huh? Why? No, I'm just saying that ain't my that ain't my forte. I don't. I, I that don't. That ain't my preference. At I all. just feel like I'll put it like this: If I am around a Caucasian woman, I am very worried about what she said I did. Cause mm. what she say you did, that's what you did. Yeah, I ain't. And it costs money to fight the case. Yeah. That's what I will say about Caucasian women, if I'm up on them, I'm gonna be like, oh shit, this bitch, my, her status in this, in, in this America is higher than mine. I know how much money it costs if she say I did something. Yeah, You get what I'm saying? Right, right. So all you motherfucking guys out there who are around Caucasian females for the most part, not absolutely, I'm saying for the most part, there are Caucasian females of morality in the world. But I'm saying little ragged ass American bitches, whatever them bitches say you did, that's what you gonna get charged with. And it costs money to fight the case. So remember that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, he from Barbados and the other one from Sudan. Sudan, those are light-skinned niggas that don't like to claim niggas. If you know anything about that shit. A lot of time. Well, wait a minute, I'm talking about that Arabian part. See, there's some people out there who dark as us, but they don't not say they black people. It's a whole bunch of deep shit that I really don't know a lot about, but I know of it. It's American. So, huh? Being black is American. Being black is what? Labeling yourself black is, is American. Pan-Africanism, you know, that, from Marcus Garvey, that's when that started, but then people in the Sudan that consider themselves Arabs and all that, they don't, they don't really, they, they haven't really culturally 
been, you know, they don't really understand those concepts because they live in the same way they live, you know, a thousand years ago, you know? Right. So, so I don't know nothing about the motherfucking shit, really, to be speaking on it matter of factly, but I will tell you this. I understand racism and I understand people who try to denounce being black because it works in society. And you know what I'm saying? If you are, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna say this one more time. If you are a man that say, I don't like black women, then I don't like you. Mm -hmm. We all in this with these raggedy ass bitches. That's why I talk about it and I joke with them. But I'm in it with them. I'm in the fight with you, motherfucker. Still got love for you. Still got love for your raggedy, funk ass, shot in the stove ass. But <laughs> I ain't with no motherfucking niggas to just flat out say, oh, we don't fuck with black bitches. Nigga, get your cake ass out of here. You a mark ass nigga. Yeah. And you would try to sneak a nigga with a motherfucking gun that's arguing with you in the front door. Because I saw that I saw that shit. I believe that nigga would have beat his ass. I ain't, I ain't, I gotta see that. What you I saw about? some shit where it was a nigga who was like, what's up, nigga? And the motherfucking nigga from the, from, from the, 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 the Arabian wannabe, it's a black man. Yeah. But I'm saying the Arabian motherfucker, he had a gun. Cause he ain't want to fight. Is that the one that was ex cop? Probably, he probably yeah. was an ex cop. Yeah. So I'm just saying, like that ain't no respectable shit. You you can have a gun on a motherfucker, like after the motherfucker and motherfucking done some shit that's worth pulling out a gun for, like hit you or whatever. Mm -hmm. But he was arguing with this nigga, and he showed the nigga, you're not gonna win this argument because I got a gun. <clears throat> I don't know about it, man. It, am I, I? I could be wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Are you supposed to pull out your gun to show it? I thought you were supposed to pull out your gun to use it. Right. Shoot I mean, I could be wrong. You ain't wrong. That maybe works. maybe you could pull out your gun because you're scared. But if you say, well, I was scared. That's why I pulled out my gun. That's why. That, that would justify things a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But if you're the type of motherfucker where everybody know your gun when they see it. Because you ain't banging that motherfucker. Because when you banging your gun, don't nobody know your gun. They hear the bullets and they run. Right. Because they don't want to get hit. But if you're the type of motherfucker who pulling out guns on motherfuckers, that's another thing where you be like, oh, he one of them motherfuckers. Yeah. I was show off, nigga. Right. I, I'm tough. But more important than pulling a gun out is why you shot the motherfucker. Or well, I'm saying, like, why you didn't shoot the motherfucker. Yeah. But if you even shoot the motherfucker for some whole ass reasons, you still a bitch. Right. If you shoot the nigga because he you got into a disagreement or he don't see shit the way he you seen it or a bitch told him something and you don't want to talk to him man to man or you don't want to fight him or whatever, you still a bitch. Absolutely. I'll put it like this. If you kill somebody for a frivolous reason, no, let me make sure I say this right. If a black man kill a black man for a frivolous reason, he should be murdered in front of everybody. I agree. And that, that includes that gangbanging shit. If you out here killing motherfuckers for sucker shit, I said, you should be made an example of so other people won't do that no more. And we look like hypocrites. This is going to sound fucked up to say, but every time a white motherfucking racist kill a nigga and we get up in arms, we look like hypocrites. What you mean? Because we'll kill each other. And don't get up in arms or go find the motherfucker. But we always screaming for justice when somebody else do I, it. I feel like this, and I said this last week on the show. If someone does a heinous crime, like uh, unlawfully murder somebody or rape somebody in your family, I feel like they should be able to pick three people out of that family and allow them to be the firing squad or... Stab them to death or whatever, whatever they. Choose. What that say right there it in the blue? Like that. that just went down. He took the gun out, bro. Car then pulled it on him. Oh, so he took the dude's gun. No, nah, he ain't. This ain't what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. The shit I saw, that motherfucker just had a gun because they was doing a podcast and it was an argument, and he didn't know how to walk up to that dude without motherfucking having a gun out. Mm -hmm. Right. Like if I'm in my house. And it's a problem, because I think the podcast was in the house. Yeah. And somebody getting out of pocket, I'm going to try to de-escalate it. Yeah. I'm going to be like, hold, 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 hold on, player. Cool out, man. We, we, we can't do this in here. Right. This is my home. Right. 
I saw the man had the gun out, like, what, uh-huh, what's up? And I was like, that ain't how you do that. And they say he an ex-cop. So he really should be trained not to do that. But some motherfuckers who, I think it's in Florida, too. That's why when I'm in Florida, I be cool. Yeah. yeah. That's I hope. get the fuck in and I get the fuck out, yeah, even though I got a homie. Loose in the motherfucker. I got a homie every time I touch down in Florida. He be right there with me with them goddammits. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, yeah. I love the man. I love the man. He be at all my shows. Cole, what up? And I know he ain't bullshit. That's a good dude. Yeah, you know nigga, what I'm saying? I had a nigga ask me to uh, be my bodyguard in, in, the, in the city. And I was like, nigga, I ain't famous like that. Nigga, that ain't no bodyguard. Nigga. Well, you just have to negotiate with the nigga and let him know what's well, happening. But this nigga, man. he a real trained nigga, though. You know what I'm saying? He well, that's like, what man. my man do. He say, I train these things. Yeah. And, I, and he a good dude. You would never think he that motherfucker because he ain't waving no guns in the air. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. After you wave a gun in the air and don't shoot it, I think that takes away from who you are as a man. Yeah, right. <laughs> that is my opinion. That's my opinion. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I'm just saying, that's my opinion. Wait a minute. We can't kill them and get pat on. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Anyway. I'm just saying. Shit, I'm off code. I ain't off code, nigga. I'm saying there needs to be consequences within our community for some of the heinous shit that we allow us to do to us. You know what I'm saying? It's too much unchecked violence in our community. So it ain't right if nobody get murdered. I don't want to see no black man die. But I, you know, I would like to see a day where brothers would stand up and be like, hey, man. Somebody say as a cop, he trained to do what he did. I don't know if that's true, man. Them, them cops fucked up. They got fucked up codes. So I, cops, I see what they trying to say. A cop is supposed to pull out his gun when anything go wrong? No, they ain't supposed to, but they fucked That's up. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You telling me it's a police, a police force that train their officers to ump them things on somebody who ain't got them things while they in their house? <laughs> <laughs> If I ump them things, it's because a motherfucker done broke in my house. Right. Not a motherfucker who I knew and I had a disagreement with. Yeah. <laughs> about some shit. You don't ump guns unless you finna use it. That's a real spill, right? You don't ump it. You don't, when, once you do this, you're supposed to pop a motherfucker. Because really they train you at the, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a black um, place where they sell the guns out here. They train you if you ump the thing, you supposed to have to refill yeah. when you stop. Hell yeah. Am I better. wrong? Hell no. Shout out to the brothers in Burbank. Right. You <laughs> you supposed to be out if you ump it. Yeah, cause cause all in, in all actuality, you're putting yourself in danger. If you pull a gun out I and mean, you threatening somebody with that gun and you don't use it, nigga. Depending on who that person is, you pull that gun out on. It ain't over. You've threatened their life. It's not. Are you threaten someone live? Well, anything can happen from now. If you tell somebody you're gonna shoot them and they shoot you, they'll beat the case in a lot of time. Yeah. That's oh, what I'm trying to tell you. They need to have they, they come yeah. back and shoot you. Yes. If you tell somebody I'll shoot your ass That's and they shoot you, they got something well, they to stand shoot on. You right I don't know about all the particulars, but I'm just saying. You said, this bro, is, this what you say? Do they gotta shoot you right then and there? No, hell no. If a motherfucker threaten your life. Right. Uh, you do that's that's why you that's why they say don't talk, nigga. If you gonna do it, just do it. Cause a nigga who got a gun on another unarmed man and he say he don't like black woman ain't my kind of nigga. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can yeah. we say that? Yeah. Say it again. A nigga who got a gun on an unarmed man and he say he don't like black women. Yeah. That ain't my kind of nigga. Yeah, I wouldn't be within nah, a, I wouldn't no. be within the city of that motherfucker. <laughs> nah. You know what I'm saying? Straight that up. That ain't my kind of nigga. It's a lot of it's a lot of different type of niggas that we think is cool niggas, but when you really evaluate them, if you a man, they can't be your type of nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like a dope dealing ass nigga. That shit was cool growing up. Now when I know a nigga dope dealer to me, I'd be like, nigga, you a fucking you a piece of shit, my nigga. I mean How about it. I mean, I'm just, I'm gonna just keep it 100. You, especially, I'm really, I'm really starting to get irritated with, with those of us that do crimes against our community. Like that's really starting to be something that really, like, is really. So you like, believe the people who own Walgreens and CVS 
is pieces of shit. Definitely. As long as you say that. And, he, and, I, and I can only really hold us accountable. I'm really starting to get more irritated with those of us that do harm to us. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's like, you know, how do we deal with that? You know what I mean? I'm kind of, I'm kind of, uh, I'm on the, on the fence with that because uh, a lot of times is is survival. Uh, them niggas don't know they're ig- they're too ignorant to to know of anything outside of what they see. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's so, an excuse, though. I mean, that's I, an excuse, I, man. I mean, I, I yeah, mean, all the dirt you do, stand on ignorance, it. Ignorance, ignorance, huh? All the dirt you do, stand on it. I sold drugs because I wanted some money. This is what I wanted to do. This is what I chose to do. I can't say, oh, well, this is my environment. No, fuck that, nigga. You did it. Stand on it, nigga. Are you including marijuana? I'm including everything that got to do with drugs. Yeah. Is marijuana a drug? I don't consider it a drug. That's you know what I'm saying. saying? But, I, but I, when, you say, when you say drugs, I, I was including like everything. I don't so, know if marijuana is a drug. I mean, do yeah. But they consider it drugs if you, right. you get your ass, they lock, they'll lock your ass up for it in certain, I believe in certain you. areas. Because they don't mean? want everybody to have it. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people are products of their, their environment. They, they can't see past their environment because the way Who? it was. It's, it's people that, was raised, that are raised in poverty. Look, they, bro, uh, you can't speak for them. You can't. You if a motherfucker I mean, I, out here doing dirt, homie. That motherfucker out here doing dirt. Straight up. Stand on it. I is, agree. Is, is selling weed doing dirt? No. Or is it hustling? Hey, man, whatever whatever make you feel better to sleep at night. Because cause this motherfucker says, this, 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 uh, he, these, just like you were just talking about, these corporations doing way worse than we did. Than, than they is. I ain't never said nothing about selling weed. Because I, I don't know enough about it to say what it is. When I found out weed is something that grows, I was like, is that a drug? Right. Right. I, I'm careful of what I call a crime because to me, right, the word crime is a, a brainwash. To me, when I hear the word crime, somebody got convicted of a crime, mm-hmm. to me that means that the government don't have to pay the families. Because think about this. If you're the victim of a crime, say say you commit a crime and you got kids and you go to jail, mm-hmm. and then the person you committed the crime against, you know what I'm saying, say they die, say you kill somebody, so you in jail, your victim is dead. Right. The government is making money off your incarceration, but when you call it a crime, your time is no longer an investment. Your time that you're doing for the government, doing labor mm-hmm. for free, it's no longer investment, so there's no obligation to pay your family from the work that you invest into the society, because even though you behind uh, close, even though you behind bars, you're still generating revenue for the prison system because you're working mm-hmm. for whoever own, you know, who, whoever you're still generating revenue, but your family is out the loop. You understand what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. as soon as you call it a crime, the the government is not obligated to give you give your family some of that money generated from your incarceration. This is information right. that Craig is giving that also goes deeper. Cause like they 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 got media coverage of what happened with R. Kelly, but they don't have media coverage of the families that are not getting money because it was declared a crime. You get what I'm saying? Right, right. They're not talking about that. You dumb bitches talking about R. Kelly and how bad he was, and why? And you don't even understand why they got you talking like that when all of the dirt that's being done to your people. Let me tell you something, man. These people are taking money and everything in your name from other nations, and you don't even know it. You don't even know it. That's what I'm saying. That's why when motherfuckers be telling me about some motherfucking what R. Kelly did, I'm saying, like, I really don't know if R. Kelly was out here taking pussy from no bitches. Bitches fuck. Underage bitches fuck. If he has, if there's proof he was fucking underage bitches, okay, then... Run with that, but don't tell me he's a sex trafficker. Right, because he's not. Ain't no sex trafficking motherfucking shit on no dumb nigga from the ghetto who can sing. Right. Y'all, after his catalog. Y'all, motherfucker, what is a sex trafficker? You know, they got. What is that? They, well, you know what? It's just like the crime shit yeah, you just said. Yeah, yeah. It's some shit they placed on a nigga. Now fight the case, it costs money to beat it. Right. 
It's the Man Act, which which was originated because of Jack Johnson, the first. Heavyweight. Somebody say, why would you pay criminals family? You bugging? I saw that shit. What you mean? Why would I pay a criminals family? Because they're citizens of this country, and because if my father does an unlawful crime and puts our family in a position where where we can't be financially viable, the system still has obligations to the children of the person who committed the crime if they're generating revenue mm -hmm. for the system. Right. The person who asked that, I will ask you, do you realize that your ancestors built this nation and didn't get a dime for it? In fact, they were made to do it and murdered as they were doing it? Well, you don't even know what the fuck you've been doing the debt that is owed to you by the Caucasian people that got you brainwashed into thinking that everybody who black stupid. So they label you a crime to put you back in slavery. It's, they call, I call, like I said earlier, once a case has been put on you, you ain't shit no more. And check this out. If you if you try to do the right thing and escape to freedom, what was that? Because, it, because slavery was legal. It was a crime. It was a crime to... That's to, deep. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker try to say they self, that's against the law of the Caucasian people that created yeah, the law. Yeah. How about that? Huh? Y'all motherfuckers don't know what the fuck you talk about. You got the wrong mentality toward the wrong people. The people that are fucking you over the most are the ones you call when somebody fucking you over. Say it again? You didn't catch it? Let me, let me make sure I say it again. The people that's fucking you over the most are the ones you call when somebody fucking you over. That's some crazy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Can you imagine the hole you in mentally, physically, if the people that's fucking you over the most are the ones you call when somebody fucking you over? Now that's a shirt. You calling your biggest enemy to help you with your small <laughs> enemy. These bitches be calling the police for their kids. <laughs> right. <laughs> and the police kill them. That's in life too, man. We talked about narcissism wow. earlier, man. And what, what, what a narcissist do, does is they'll use your personal information against you. You know, mm -hmm. cults do that shit. When you get into a cult, they try to find out everything about your life. So when you when you try to get out of it, they use that against you. We're going to tell them, we're going to tell them, we're going to tell everybody that you... Which you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, the system is crazy like that, man. So we live in a wild country. Hey, Corey, the name of that uh, disorder, they, 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 it, was, it was a mental disorder for a slave to try to free himself. It was considered to be like, you know, like being mentally That's sick. That's cold. It was called drape, drapedoma, drapedomania. Am I saying that right? Is it an E at the end? Drapedomania. Yeah, it, it looks about right. I can't see it right there. Pass it to him. Unless it's like Drapetomnia. Hold on. I think it's Drapetomania. Drapetomania look like... Look, I'm going to see, can drape. I pronounce it like I'm that nigga? Drapetomania. Where is it at? Oh. Yeah, I think that would be Drape... Drapetomania. Is that a... Is that a... Drape... Drapetomania. 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 Yeah. Drapetomania. Yeah, so if a slave... Whatever it's called. Marcus, is there no more product of my environment? Wait a minute. Marcus is no more... There is no there more. There is no more product of my environment. Anyone with access to the internet has the world as their environment. Wait a minute, you can see things that you'll never tell. Well, just, not, I mean, just know this 907 King. <laughs> they let you see what they want you to see on the internet. Trust me. Everything that's happening in this world, you are allowed to really be free, motherfucker. You be somewhere by your motherfucking self. They gotta come find you. But when you punch in on the internet, they know what you thinking. They know how my mind is. I'm fucked if I try to move back in the real world. <laughs> Do you think you can be raised to the point where you don't have a desire for more knowledge? To yes. Where you... Right. Yes. It's a level of Wait, ignorance. I don't understand it's what you're saying. It's called Christianity. It's called Christianity? Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, real I spirit. like that. Yeah. <laughs> See, I thought, okay, yeah, that's deep. Well, there's a lot of people who think that Christianity uh, crystallizes your pineal gland mm -hmm. and makes you see shit in black and white. The whole uh, monotheistic worldview of believing that there's one God. Mm -hmm. when, European, when Europeans came across this way of thought, um, 
they did that because in Africa they were free flow. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Which you know, so they believed in multiple gods, not because it was a deity type thing, but that, those represented different types of thought, different types of created ex creative expansion. So they they singled it down to the one god system, so they would know exactly what you were thinking, how you were thinking, and keep you kind of in a box. You know? Right. But, but Everything it, uh, that is in control uh, that are be that's being controlled by Caucasian people is manipulation. Ain't no honest, square, fair shit they got out there for you, especially Christianity. Mm -hmm. Everything they taught you is to fuck you. Everything. Everything. The fact that you think you're supposed to go to school to be validated in this world is a mind fuck. Everything they trying to teach you, you can learn in a couple of months with some people who really love you. <laughs> Have you ever thought about that? You go to school all them years, somebody who love you can basically teach you everything you learn 18 years of school in six months. Mm -hmm. Especially once you reach a certain age. Like if you, if you start teaching the children this shit at age eight, when they know how to pay attention for real and everything, right. by the time they 10, they could be geniuses. Right. But you think you're supposed to go to school and pay money. You know what school, the benefits you get in school, you get to see how fucked up other kids are. That's the best thing you learn in school. Damn, these motherfuckers this fucked up? I know that's what I used to say to myself. Damn, these motherfuckers, that motherfucker talk back to his mama. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now it's common for black folks to talk back to their mom. Black folks terrorize their parents now. They make because black kids we notice. have taken it their way. They, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, go ahead. I want you, your that, shit deep, Craig. No, they, they they make black kids go to school so they understand who's greater than them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it, that's the only that's, reason that they have what's going right, right. Because <laughs> yeah. everything that they teach you, they're the superior. They're, they're the, they're, they created it. They founded it. Uh, they, the, you know, they got the forefathers' name and the year they, they did it, and you know what I mean. They just, should, they just should rename. Somebody say school is for networking. Definitely college. They just should rename American history racism. Real spittery. Well, r American history since it was taken over by Caucasian people. This is what everybody needs to know that some people don't know. Before the Caucasian people came here and turned this motherfucker into chaos there was black people here there were asian people here there were latino people here there was no war where everybody was enslaved when the caucasian people got here slavery became the thing now yeah. if i'm wrong prove me i'm wrong you're right <laughs> <laughs> there's one more to add to it though man go ahead i hate to say it but the Islamic slave trade has been going on for 1,500 years, a thousand years longer than the European slave trade. But they, but theirs isn't, you know, labor based. They take a lot of black concubines and black, like house slaves and shit like that. So it's real on it's both sides. Only fan. But is it, but is, <laughs> but is it, is it more indentured servitude or is it slavery? I mean, it's a, it's a little both on both sides. It, it had indentured servitude, but I mean, slave, you know. But it's, it's not. But I don't. There's no. Uh, there's no um, slavery that is more um, trying brutal. to get it out. I love that. No. <laughs> well, they, I'm, they, trying to think, yeah. I'm trying to think of better words, but well, no, they're, as, they're, as brutal as the transatlantic slavery. I forget what, when I find But you don't know that, Margaret. I'm asking. No, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, I'm all a slavery is brutal. Yeah, all of it is crazy. <laughs> you make a mother Look, bro, do slave. you have do you have any like uh, uh, Ethiopian homies or or like uh, what's the other one? Pretty, pretty, uh, not Ethiopian, but uh, Darlene. I'm, I'm saying for the uh, go, ahead, go ahead. So, uh, you know, I got a few Ethiopian partners and a few like uh, uh Eritrean partners, mm -hmm. and they say that this shit is still going on, like it's like there's still people being kidnapped from their country in certain parts of East, East Africa and being taken to Saudi Arabia and and places like that and forced to work for families and shit, like it's still going on, yeah. I believe you. I know yeah. the world of cold If place. you ever go to Dubai, you'll see it. It'd be random, you know. But this yeah. shit that's happening here? Yeah, this is the In America? Yeah. Is directly linked to when the European motherfucking monsters landed here and created this type of chaos where 
basically, as long as black people been here, since they landed, we have been hunted, raped, murdered, all that shit. Look up the look up the history of America since the slave trade. Look it up. If it's not, it, it, I don't know if all that gonna be on the internet. <laughs> they take certain shit off the internet. Yeah. They don't want you to know Marcus' arm wet right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll get it. deep into this shit all night. Hold on, I want to say, religion is government assistance. Black men need to volunteer to clean up our people, to clean our people up, rather we like it or not. I agree with that. Religion is government assistance. He basically saying government he, you, 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 control. Yeah, you. No, I get it. Uh, yeah. I'm saying like, I'm not dumb enough to fall for a religion. There's no religion that's gonna win over my mind. Are you fucking serious, homie? When I was a little kid, I realized Santa Claus is some bullshit. Right. And when I got older, I said to myself, wait, 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 wait. So it's some motherfucking nigga named Jesus that's supposed to do what? Like, that's what happened to me naturally. Yeah. I was like, wait, this don't sound right. They want you to hope. I think that's why. That's, they, I think that's one of the worst words to come into the black community. Hope. I think that's why they sold the whole Santa Claus thing. It, it, it was easy to convert you to Jesus. Talk about I'm sick. Fat ass white man ain't going nowhere <laughs> in no night. Marcus. Yeah. That motherfucker gonna be at home drinking rum. I can say you this imagination. Well, a, a, everything we buy is if you act right. If you do right later right. on. Right. And niggas buy into that shit. Nigga, these white folks is doing <laughs> coke and, and living their best heavenly life on earth, nigga. But we right. gotta wait till some magical shit happen or we gotta do right if you if you Santa gonna bless you if you just yeah. if you do what you're told. Right. right. They, fuck they, they, they say you that afterlife boy like a motherfucker boy. Yeah, that afterlife shit cold game. <laughs> but we'll be here all night talking about this shit. Look, check it out. Uh, somebody said Corey mad at Santa for no presents. That's absolutely right, because Santa ain't fuck with us. Or most of the people who live in the projects where I'm from. But look, this weekend, Austin, Texas, um, July, um, shit, I don't know the dates. 15 through 17. 15 through 17. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the club again? Cap City. Cap City. You know your boy gonna be down there. Y'all know Texas. Texas gonna fuck with me. I ain't even worried about that Austin, shit. Austin, cool. It's like San Diego. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I did the Vulcan there like about eight, nine months ago. Yeah, I it's did. I still like it, man. They got good food. Oh, yeah, good Austin known for that. barbecue. So what y'all want to plug real quick? Because we got to get up out of here. We ran real late tonight. Uh, y'all already know, man. Mainstream tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, man. M-A-N-E. S T R E A M, man. Tap in with your boy, man. And I'm going to be in uh, Houston and Austin this weekend. I'm, I'm going to come down this uh, Sunday. There it and, is. And vote with Corey, man. But uh, in Houston, I'll be at the House of Blues. So, you know what I'm saying? Come holler at your boy, man. Come holler at your boy. Shit, man. Uh, pick up that Chill Never Withers. It'll be available at midnight. I got a bunch of pre orders. <laughs> I'm going to be sending y'all that. And, uh, man, shoot. What's the name of that? The Guild Theater in Sacramento on the 22nd. Can't wait to see y'all there. Um, Sacramento, fuck with him. Man, yeah, check out the website, Yeah, gonna man. be the grew out son. And if I owe you something, get it from God. Nigga, God, God, God. I got another, uh, it's, it's, I don't want to talk about it yet because it's, it's way in October, but I got another, another club fucking with me, come. Okay, there it is, yeah. Marcus. You know how it go, goddammit. Yeah, yeah. Want me to work on that armpit shit? I got some girls. <laughs> Who keeps saying that um, they um, they got some shit that can, that can help you with your arm yeah. wetness? The girls who do my hair. Oh, speaking of girls, uh, them girls that, did, that used to work for uh, Comedy Height. Who? Uh, the black girls. They I don't know they, nothing about. They said they wanted to tell. They started the story. They, they, they ain't what it, <laughs> it ain't what it was because I was on live and they was coming another thing. What you uh, mean? They gonna set out the comedy hype, <laughs> homosexual, right? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. They I can like, see that. I can see them setting him out. They don't fuck with him, yeah, right? They, yeah. it, it fell out, so now they finna set him out. That's what happened with bitch. <laughs> Man, I don't know if I would do that though, Cole. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. They set, they set out, they set out the little homosexual. They used to work for. 
It's like they'll set you out if they'll work for you. That's some real shit. It's, it's, it ain't nothing new. Yeah. We'll tell on him. Bitch, you ain't impressing me. <laughs> tell on him, bitch. I know what I do. need to know. And anybody who trusts me, trust what I'm saying. <laughs> that motherfucker there. Yeah, they'll set him out. They some bitches. Little monkey bitches on top of that. It might be a setup. I don't believe it. Cause he don't want no pussy from him. No, nah, she they wouldn't they wouldn't uh ask him to come on here or nothing. They were just saying. I, I, they probably ain't asking because they probably read me. That nigga don't give a fuck what I got to say. <laughs> yeah, they going to tell on all them niggas who fucking with him, too. <laughs> he was on the show because he was fucking him. <laughs> <laughs> I seen the interview. That nigga say, I ain't gay. I don't know why that nigga keep saying I'm gay. I ain't gay. Who said that? The comedy hype that? nigga. He was, oh, he, he showed his face? He didn't show his face, but he was interviewing. Uh... Do you know this nigga? No, I don't know him. I never seen him. I'm just some. To you talk never about. seen him. You heard a voice. I heard a voice. Wasn't yeah. his voice? I bet. <laughs> this motherfucker hide good. He probably Listen, had, he probably had that little thing, you know, to make your voice deeper. True fruit booty. He got that, <laughs> he got that thing off in my it, Mission Impossible Three. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta wrap this shit up, y'all. Hey man, let me tell y'all something, motherfucker. We got the we got the flow in the day. Whoever I have offended, I hope I haven't made it where you get emotional. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I saw that shit happen in Family Dollar. I was like, well, I ain't gonna be arguing with no motherfuckers out here in these motherfucking streets and they ump that thing and trick you. Oh my but God. I'm saying this show is for entertainment purposes, but real shit is said and real shit I will stand on. So that's what I got to say about the shit. This is 51 motherfucker, 50. We are not finna cake this shit for your ass, nigga. We about to get the fuck up out of here, goddammit, go find something to eat. I don't know if y'all gonna eat. Y'all gonna eat this late? Right. I'm hungry, man. Yeah, I went yeah, to the I'm dentist. Hungry, I know hungry. Craig gonna eat, boy. Well, I, well, I ain't eating nothing before I came here. You ain't eating nothing before I came here? I don't think I ate the day. That's I ate today. Shit. I ate the day. <laughs> <laughs> I ate a banana. I think I ate oh, a banana. <laughs> anyway, man, 5150, we about this bitch. Yeah. Oh.
Thank you.